Dura spoke to Hiran. No, well, yeah, did I bring that up? But then I also, yeah, and then also I had. It's what happened, whether or not we did it. No, that yeah, that is that is what happened, and I did bring it up. Um, had a dream that was a memory of Aaron's of of someone telling her it was time for her lesson. It was very creepy. We learned what? that Aaron can speak and understand, or rather, can understand like every language. Oh my! Oh yeah! Now there's. Oh. Oh. Okay. King, who was not impressed with us, but will let us have passage to or, or like the Sunstone. Yeah. Which, according to the advisor, has no power, just sentimental value. Um. It's a special shenanigans on that one. Yeah, hundred percent. Suggested it was an inside job. Ten guards. You would have known the combo, and there's some magic stuff protecting it. Wait, Talia brings up Kessler to the advisor. Advisor gets suspicious and starts asking sketchy questions about Aaron. I think that was it. Yep, that's where we left off. Because we were tr also, before all the King's meeting, we were trying to decide, did we want to do the uh, the split party split up thing, or if we wanted to go see the King first, but yeah, we saw the king first. Yeah. I know we had planned to go to... I was going to take Aaron to the library. You wanted to go to the chapel. And Viren was going to go... I'm going to go do rogue things. He's going to go do rogue things. <laughs> He's going to go uh, do some investigating. Maybe we should all dress up like rogues and hang out with Viren. Uh... <laughs> I don't think Talia would be okay with that. Yeah. I don't think Dura would be good at that. I think you everyone in the bar will see right through you. <laughs> oh. Huh. Okay. Get a token real quick. Talking. I made up my mind on this subject. As you are all leaving the castle, having been... ...kind of reprimanded. Talked it down to a little bit by the king for not believing your wild stories. <laughs> you know. It's not about every day the, someone about brings up. the world up. ending <laughs> and... You know. <laughs> A moon. I feel little, like uh, I feel sus. like. Look, I was trying to keep it grounded before we started going <laughs> on the doomsday. Hey man. Yeah. Just yeah. cut to the chase. Well, as you're walking away, uh -huh. you see somebody uh -huh. approaching the castle. None of you recognize him, but he looks rather. He looks like he's somewhat of an important fella. What's he look like? Kind of walks up, glances in your direction, kind of looks you uh looks you all smile. Sus. Or. That's where we've gone already. Aurora, rather, Zell, why are all your characters just so gung ho about <laughs> killing? I want you to roll religion. I mean, that's fair. Ten. Ten. Shut up. Catch a... a whiff. Of he passes by you all. Something... You could 
really only say Where is he? I said how far away is he? 20 feet. Okay, I'm going to call out to him. Hey sir. <laughs> he, will... he stops and turns to look at you all. Um you look are you are you familiar with this area? Actually, no. I'm first time. Oh, okay, cuz I was I don't suppose you know where the chapel is. Well, it's down that ways a bit, I think. I didn't actually go there myself, but I have heard it's quite elegant. Okay. Do you know anything about where the library is? That's in the same district. That'll be good. Well, thank you very much. I, I appreciate that as one newcomer to another one. Of course, it is my pleasure. DM. What? Can I use divine sense? Okay. What kind of vibes am I getting in my vicinity? To detect variations. It just generically says celestial fey or fiends. Say or this. if an area was desecrated or consecrated. I'll, I'll say this. Uh-huh. While it does while you're not immediately alerted to a celestial it's not immediately celestial, it's definitely got a similar vibe. Gotcha. Okay. Castle. So, where do y'all want to go now? Split up, stick together. Well, I'd say we should head back to the blacksmith and pick up our gear. It's not ready yet. It's not, not ready, ready yet. yet. It hasn't even been the next day. It's been one day. Oh, <laughs> okay. <say>. Whatever. <laughs> told you four days. Although the necklace you requisitioned, Dura, would have, would be complete. Because that was okay. ready in a day. Um. So yeah, I actually, yeah, would like to go back to the, or run by, swing by the blacksmith. I'm I don't how, how are, like, we just standing there in the middle of the street? Well, yeah, we are, aren't we? You say you're standing outside the uh, entrance to the castle, trying to figure out where you want to right, head next. Right, right. Are we? Is there anyone kind of around us? I'm, as... I'm sitting at the fountain. Say, aside from the guy who just walked past you, there's just maybe some general traffic. If you, if you. Okay. Okay. Well, I was, I was gonna like, I. Okay. All right. I'll go ahead and say you guys are currently inside the castle here. Right. Okay. Uh, for the record, the Hearth District is where the chapel and library are, and uh, Market is where the inn and the blacksmith and all that stuff. Is anything for Aaron? Did we order anything for Aaron? I don't think we did. Of the blacksmith? Got her, uh, herb and the blacksmith, no, I don't think. Got her, we got uh, her that herbalism kit and the yeah. alchemy mm -hmm. kit. I don't like what Talia just suggested. Um, I mean, I think, I think that's... Wait, what? And I... What? No, I, I guess I... I didn't suggest anything, did I? You only suggested a thing in the last session. Huh? When you wouldn't tell us your secrets, and then you told it to the advisor. Oh, of the yeah, king, that. Who was kind of a jerk. Oi. So. 
I'm wondering if we need to pick up something for Aaron, and if okay. somebody needs to teach her how to fight. She wants to learn how to throw some punches. I can sure like that. Are we sure we want to give her a weapon? Give her oh. a pointy object? Or do we want her just to be able to protect herself? We, of course. Aaron? If someone wanted to hurt you, would you be able to hurt them back? Kind of fire puffs with her hands. She seems more reliant on her magic for defense than anything yeah. else. Yeah. Is that going to work on everyone all the time? More than willing to teach her, but with the with her books and all the other stuff she's learning overwhelm her. I think maybe. I think she'll have quite the uh quite the toolkit of spells for various situations. She seems resourceful. So yeah, yeah, I guess we. I want. I do want to stop by the chapel. I wouldn't mind hitting the library, um, but that's not as important for me. Well, depending on how much you want to split up or stay together. I'd like to stop by the chapel and offer a, a prayer to the Raven Queen. Let's it's see. Anybody else wanting to head in that direction? To the chapel? Chapel. Or do we want to rather, rather not be lost in the city? I'd say, do we want to... Is it going to be like, bounce to blacksmith? Go, go to blacksmith, pick up your necklace. Chapel. Library. Like, Viren's going to go like do his own thing. Chapel <laughs> was between we might as well stop at the chapel and library first i'm not in a big hurry to get to the the blacksmith all right okay sounds so if you, like a if you're, you're gonna head in your own direction and the rest of us will stay together yes that works okay unless you need backup do you prefer backup or would you prefer to go alone I'll go alone for now. Alright. Shall we meet back up at the end? Okay. Is there, uh, Viren, a certain. anything we should do if you don't show up at a certain place by a certain time? If I. Don't come back. And this is only for emergencies. Okay. <laughs> I will be at the... Let me pull up my notes. What was it? It was like the drowned rat or something. Rat cage. The rat, the the rat cage. caged. Yeah. I will be at a bar known as the rat cage. Now, if you ask anyone about it, they will likely lie to you and say they don't know anything. But look for it in the old town. It will be marked by a rat on front of a door. The password to get in is I'm sorry, but I mistook you for my mother. Funny password. Yes, it is a funny password. But only do that if I'm gone for more than a week. Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay. This ain't going. He ain't going on a fucking adventure. He's going on a vacation. Listen, I just met these people, and I don't want to have random people just showing up on no notice. That is a good point. And if you're not there, and if I'm not there, then ask around. 
and see if anyone's seen me. I give you a week. Yeah. Give you a week. <laughs> give me a week. I'm not letting that go ever. <laughs> give me a week. Alright, well, if you need any help, let us know. Yes. <sighs> Alright. What name do they know you as? Uh, they know me as Vera. Okay. okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about that whole thing. Doreen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doreen. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. Well... If we've got a plan, then let's uh be off. I think I might want to add something to our um activities though, if you all wouldn't mind. What's that? Uh well, with as often as we like to split up, probably be best to see if there's something in the uh, magic shop to help us maintain communication. Be good. I don't remember seeing anything, but it'd be good to ask. Of course. You know, that was and thing. actually, I kind of wanted right. to ask about some of the other potions that were there. So I, I would be all about that. All right. So DM in order of, like, closest thing, barring the blacksmith, since it's just going to be a pretty much a pickup thing, what's going to be the best order of operations here? Oh, DM, as he died. No, the uh, the closest thing, um, oh. the blacksmith and the cathedral slash libraries are kind of equidistant. Um, uh huh. One's a little bit more than the other, so maybe it's just a little bit longer to go back to the blacksmith and the shops. Okay. Up to you, honestly. Okay, so it don't really matter. Well, um. Actually, uh, Varen. Yes? Before you go, why don't you accompany us, accompany us uh, to the magic shop? That way maybe they might have, if they do have something, we'll be able to stay in touch. Alright. Wait, when you say something, do you mean like that weird orb that Venice used, or...? Wait, do you still have that? I think so. Okay. An orb? If... What? Yeah. Like a was speaking like... stone. It was like a speaking stone. Or whatever. And I think we need to use that to ask your questions about to Dainese and not like other people, like King's Advisors. But anyways, we could see if they have anything like that. So it is the magic shop, then? Yes. Sounds good. Token, token. That. Okay. Uh-huh. Magic shop. Okay. We're all together as a six man. For the moment. Okay. I believe so, yeah. So you all walk in. It's uh -huh. a little crowded in here. With all <laughs> uh the air is more pungent what? than the last time you visited. <laughs> Pungent. Perhaps feel a little slight dizziness as you as you inhale. Uh huh. The young elf walks up to the counter. 
Apologies, you caught me in the middle of making some of my more <clears throat> aromatic. Aromatic is one way to put it. So, what can I do for all of you? Well, we were wondering if you might have uh, some sort of item to help us maintain communication amongst ourselves when we're, uh, there's a bit of distance. Yes, yes, the casual speaking stones. I have some in stock. Set a few on the table. Oh. How many do you need? Uh, one for each of us? But how much are they? Fifteen gold apiece. Oh. Fuck. I'll buy them all! <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, one for each of us seems pretty good. Hi. Um. Like there might be a problem? Yeah. Yeah, does Aaron really need one with her not... <laughs> Speaking, ah, so, fi yes. so five, five. <laughs> and how would you like them linked? Can you elaborate? Elaborate? Well, yeah, I can I link say. them all together, or I can do pairs with maybe a trio. Uh, I think linking them all together is fine. Well, would if we link them all together, could we all talk at once? Or how would that work, exactly? I guess I'm not familiar with this magic. The way they work is that one person speaks to the stone, and the others what will is this? sound what he has said. She, in this case. And as such, if you all spoke at the same time, it would get rather chaotic. And you probably wouldn't be able to understand a word that you said. So perhaps maybe only one at a time. But yes, I you could in theory. So if... I was going to say, so if they're all linked together, and I was trying to reach, say, one person, and another person was in a place they had to be quiet, the speaking stone would go off? Fortunately, I'm afraid so. Okay. That is the magic Ooh. of how they work. So I'm thinking, Viren, who do you want to be hooked up with? Hmm. How about Talia? Well, um, I might have a, an idea, actually. Well, you mentioned perhaps you needed to be in a quiet place. Are you looking for something maybe Fuller a bit something. more... Discreet, yes. Ooh. I have these, a personal creation of mine. He set five slates of stone on the table. Now, similar to a speaking stone, written words instead. Simply write your message on the stone. It will transmit it to any connected stone. So without the... Uh, without any fear of, um... exposing yourself. Exactly. And you could even write this in a foreign language that only you and the recipient understands, and voila, you have yourself an encoded message of sorts. And better yet, Aaron could use one of these. Anyone can use it. I like to think of these as the trendy everyday item for the dashing rogue who likes to keep a low profile. Plenty this man literally people. invented text messaging in his fucking Plenty of those story. to go around in this city. <laughs> <laughs> he literally made text messaging in his arm. Uh, how much, how much for are those? these? Slight surcharge of 20 gold for the little bit more material required to make these. Of course. 20 gold each, basically. Now, how many did he set? He has up to five. Up to five? Okay. He has five made. 
well. Uh, I have no I, I issue with go, it. I will go take you one. No, no. If you want one, I have, you. I was like, no, no. I have no issue with with Aaron usually hanging around one of us at any given time. Wouldn't be any issue with us having five amongst the group. We want to pick up a couple of speaking stones just to make sure everyone's looped in just one way or the other. Just to make sure. Yeah, I will purchase the five uh, slates. Speaking tablet. Speaking tablet. I'll purchase all five of those and like hand one to each of the uh, party members. Thank you. The so speaking that's a, stones that's, as well. That's a hundred. Does anyone else wanna? Uh, so, I mean, I guess yeah. I think I might pick up a pair of speaking stones. I wonder if we want to give Aaron a tablet in case she gets separated somehow well, or lost, and then one of us can still be in the loop. So if I pick up one, um, who wants the other one? Oh, you know what? I'll give my tablet to Aaron, and then I'll take a speaking stone. Right. Okay. Okay. And then I remember you had some potions last time we were here, and I kind of wanted to. I was, I was thinking, I just kind of wondering a little bit more about some of the ones I, I didn't end up asking about. Have you any in particular? Um, you had mentioned fire breath, filter of love, and potion of growth. Ah, yes, indeed. Those are some of my. More special creations. Would you like to know yes. about them? How they work or what they do? Well, which one in particular? I can go through all. Yeah, well, let's let's just start at the top with fire breath. This. Potion would to breathe fire. Um, to help you understand it out of character, if you drink this potion, um, you can you can use a bonus action to breathe fire at a target within thirty feet of you. Uh, the target must make a, de a dexterity saving throw, and if it fails, it takes 46 fire damage, or half as much on a successful one. You can do this up to five times within an hour, or up, uh, after the hour has passed, then you can't do it anymore. Up to an hour or five times. Seems pretty handy. That does sound really... Is, is there anyone who thinks that would be especially useful? Uh... Good. Like anyone who wants dibs? I prefer my blades. Personally. I already spit acid. <laughs> hey, you can spit acid and fire now. <laughs> okay. It was really weird taste after drinking that one that one fire drink the other day. Not <laughs> I see. Just so I have this logged, we did but we are buying what, two speaking stones? Yes. Okay. And I can pick those up, um, and game. then the filter of love. <laughs> ah, fun one. Um. Simply put, this potion causes the drinker to fall in love. It's more of a deep. Like, how long would this last, and what would what was your definition of in love? <clears throat> well, is it like a mindless infatuation? Well, if the drinker is, let's see, 
Are you supposed to use the love potion and the Yeah, no, I've read the filter of love. It is it's worded not weirdly. Written. Basically, yeah. I'll, I'll explain this out of character. If you drink it, the next time you see a creature, any creature at all, whether that be, you know, another person or another player or whatever, will become charmed by that creature. If the creature is of a species and gender that you are normally attracted to, it is considered true love. Essentially, oh, if it will cause you to fall in love with them. Do you advise against using the growth potion and the love potion at the same time? <laughs> you know someone was gonna ask that! Oh! <laughs> potion lasts for longer than four hours. Consult your local alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, How long does a love potion last for? An hour. Okay. This would be more. This is this is an item that I would expect a lot of creative use out of. But... Creative use is one way to put it. It's not a potion for one of us to drink. No. And it's, right. This is more of a potion for someone with a bit more. If Quick you've ever watched, if slip. you've ever watched the Harry Potter movies, think of it like, yes. think yeah. of it like yeah, that, yeah. where you trick someone to drink the love potion and then they fall in love with you. I yeah, think... I mean that seems. I'll take the a filter is... of love. Why not? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm gonna look at Varen. If I find that in my drink. Oh, oh, that would be an interesting thing. Uh... Don't flatter yourself. He's got the hats for Venice. <laughs> so it's 90 gold for the filter. Okay, I'll pay for it. Finally, we move on to the growth. Potion of growth. Taller, stronger, bigger. In multiple ways. If you're too short to reach something, such as maybe oh. if something is too tall for you to reach, or maybe you're not strong enough, you need a little bit more to open the certain doors or anything of that variety this potion is definitely good for you taller stronger bigger are we talking uh you gain the effects of you gain the enlarge effect that's what one size classification bigger yeah so you basically double your dimensions in every way. So you can become twice as tall, twice as large, twice as heavy, twice as strong. How long does that last for? 1d4 hours, so between 1 and 4. You know what? I'll buy that potion. Um, more notable things. Does it do anything like to so... the stats themselves? If you're not large little... enough to fit in the area, if you, after receiving this effect, you will grow to the maximum possible size within the space available. Uh, you, you will gain advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws, and your weapons will match to uh, size. Your weapons will deal an additional 1d4 extra damage. Yeah, I'll buy that. Why not? 12 foot Talia incoming. Large and mighty. Potion of growth Look is 270 Talia. gold. 270 gold. Hi. Yeah. Okay, so. Alright, so. Uh, That's currently all of the specialty varieties he has. He does have some. Common things if you wanted to purchase. But did Hulahan buy the Actually, filter? Who bought the filter? Viren did. Mm -hmm. I did. 
I'm just writing stuff down. Um, yes, I just picked up Revivify. Do I need to buy diamonds for that? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't count any spell components until like sixth level spells. Okay, so I've got a little ways. All right, I'm good. Filter of love. Did, did did this alchemist ever tell me what that essence of Midas did, or did he not yet know because it was experimental? He explained some features of it. Make you rich and do not use it on anything you want. To... Basically, don't use Die. it on something you like. <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> Potion of growth. Did anyone buy the fire breath one? No. No. I don't think so. I got Sacred Flame. Alright, so yeah, I will I'll, I will pick up the Speaking Stones then. Yep. I already gave a tablet to Aaron. Okay. And I assume I'm getting one of those Speaking Stones. So yeah, I'll hand you the other speaking stone. Um, I feel like the, the, the two loudest people have the speaking stones now, but that'll be fine. Nothing bad. Uh, what could go wrong? Be, what could go wrong? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Bro, my notes are already looking like matrix code because I'm writing on gr with green on black. So I'm going to stick my nose in the blacksmith real quick. Um, yeah, you be there, lass. Saw hey, you yeah, yesterday. Just, yeah, I was I was coming in to see if um, the the item I requisitioned was ready. Well, your, uh, your specialty items are going to take a little bit longer. Just, right. Uh, they're working on them now. Don't feel Definitely. too bad. Definitely. I... I was checking on the, the necklace. Hey! Pull out a rather nice looking silver chain. Uh, the clasp in the back. And hanging from said chain is the the mark of Yaren that you requested. And he will set it on the counter. Never seen that symbol before. It's quite uh, it's quite interesting. Yeah, I, I I've only run into it recently, and I I thought it was it was kind of interesting too. Well, I like your taste. So you've already paid for it, so it's yours to take. And, All right. Uh, if you ever and how need about anything? I? Oh. I uh like tip him five gold. Okay. Two kind. Oh. Oh, no, it's, it's beautiful. Thank you very much. It is indeed rather nice looking. Um, and shiny. Shiny. All right. I am going to pocket it and uh, head out of the blacksmith. Okay. Oh. All here. Yep. Gang going. Well, now that we've established... A safe means of communication. Uh, Pose, Varen, you should be good to go on your little escapade. Yes, I should be off. And remember, if I'm not back in a week, the rat's cage in Old Town. I'll, I'll remember. I'd hope you'd write to us within a week. Yeah, please I, write I, to I, us. I about to say, keep us... Uh, Keep us and informed. if you need help, you can write to us. Or if if it's I will, a week, I will... it, yeah, you can write to us not to come help. If it begins to look like chicken scratch, I will assume the worst has happened. Oh, well, I thank you for the concern. All right. Oh yeah. Well, what's Edgar doing? He just. He's been rather docile this morning. Uh, you know, I'll give him a cracker because he's been docile. Oh. Then peck your head. I gave you a cracker, you...
So Varen's already split wanna off. Wanna get a warhorse? Oh. Like, like you wanna ride around town with it? Trading in, be trading in the beaters for a muscle car? Right, you uh... Pretty much. Nice. Oh, my pen is doing weird things right now. I don't even have to touch the screen for it. Damn. Boss. Ah. A war horse? So you, you, end, you walk into the stables, the stable master's tending to his animals. Doesn't really notice you come in. Like horse. <laughs> and hay and poop. Well, hello there. Come to take your horse, or horses in this case. Um, let's see. What are you in the market for? Horse? Well, uh, typically, uh, those are reserved for the king's horses, but, uh, extra. Ain't uh, ain't got no masters yet, but uh, typical price is four hundred. She's yours then. What color is the horse? I must know these things. Yes, not. <laughs> Beautiful. He nods and. Without a be a little uh feisty, but that's good. Pen is doing really weird things, and I really would like it to stop. Happy with you. Okay. Like to meet up with the rest of the party or Okay. Back as a unit. Except for Vera. Get to Vera and then later. Uh oh. Where would you like to go next? Chapel or library? But either way, where do we want to start? Well. Chapel is closer. Chapel it is! Alright, we'll go to the chapel. <laughs> Walk your way through the streets. And I'd like for you all to roll perception. Ah, shit. I am not the best at perception, so this will be entertaining. Didn't roll sh Hi. <laughs> Hey, we did it. Well, then you'd all see it. Uh, someone's tailing you. Oh. They're keeping a quite a long distance. And they're wearing very masking clothing. Dark, dark attire. Uh. Is, it, is there anywhere I can slink off, kind of, and get a little uncut stealth myself? <laughs> Like around a corner. Try. Um, 
guarantee success. Yeah, I'll try to. Pretty far back, like. I'll try to break off of the group though, just to. On the edge, on the edge of vision, little... where you would be able to make them out. Pretty tall, like two, three stories. Tune. Tune for stealth. Okay, so you think you're stealthed. Hiding in a corner. 15 feet? No, nah, taller than that. Uh, most of these buildings are two story, some three story. So you're looking at probably 30, 40 feet. I'm just making it look like I'm breaking off away from the group and going in opposite direction kind of thing. Probably, I guess. off like it was like a street corner he would have turned and gone into a little alley or street side case we'll say it's a arrow sh is it within connected to the road that you're walking down so he would have turned away and walked maybe I don't know 10 feet up a road like hit by boxes so yeah Maintain line of sight with it. Like what's how far away could would you get from it before it disappeared? At all? Well, you, you would have made a, a echo discreetly. Dullahan walks off into the alley. All would have kept walking. I think, like I said, he's hanging pretty far back. Um, You'll carry on. Down the road. And you wait. Pull a hand and you wait. And you wait. Anyone? I didn't have at least uh, somewhat of an idea what I was looking for. Guy dressed in really dark clothing with a hood. anything anywhere okay scan like around all you would see all you currently see right now is just normal looking pedestrians stone and just right on it nothing put it away and I that's just me being unsure of how it even works 
but assuming from what I heard. I don't have my stone out. After they, uh, you, you walk about back and try to see if you can spot the figure again, but you can't see anything. Whatever it was, it's gone now. Noticed us noticing it. <laughs> Don't like being followed. No, it's not fun. Okay, so you are now in the alleyway with Houlihan. So, so the so actually roars by me. Yeah. I, I lost visual too. Should we get back, back to the group or should we uh, hold back? See if we can see anything. Go for it. By all means. Okay. So on the rooftops you look around and as far as you can tell there's nothing up there but birds and smoking chimneys oh. pretty clear to you pretty neat trick Probably keep a keep an eye on our backside at all times. I guess now. Not a couple. Too many times. Hi. Right, I guess we should get back with the group then. Fine. Yeah, yeah. I'll walk. I'll back into I'll the back up. crowd with those people. Continue on your way, and eventually. Hi. Rather large building with beautiful stained glass windows. An extremely immaculately kept lawn. Ah, not one millimeter too long. There's a, and there is a small graveyard out back. And two large stone doors are closed. It is about 2 p.m. Okay. Well, shall we enter? Um, sure. Yeah, let's let's go inside and see. You all enter into the chapel. It might be time for me to start learning how to pray at this point. Um, several people sitting at the pews saying their prayers. Seems to be in quiet reverence. 
Indian gentleman standing in the back, reciting from a prayer book. Prayer is of a deity you do not know. Does he mention the name at least? Or is it in a tongue we just don't recognize? He does not speak the name. He is speaking in views. And... Gotcha. A chapel that is, I guess, yeah, is, is it is it seem to be to a certain deity or anything specific, or is it? There are actually multiple different deities. Okay. Images. Pictures of them. As the windows of the stained glass. Any of them do we recognize? You see Saloon. Uh, you see Corellin. Not see a raven Gonna stop me. Um, Solanari. Uh, Vandra, Moradin, Bahamut. Relin. Bird. And Ayun. Uh-huh. Well, if there's a seat near the one to saloon, I'll head that way. Okay. Uh, there I'll... are a few open pews. Uh, Hulahan, do you plan to pray towards the uh, pray to the Raven Queen again, or have you another deity in mind? I'm gonna walk up and down and browse, but I mean. Window shopping gods. <laughs> it should, it shouldn't. Hurt. I don't think it would hurt to pray to the Raven Queen. I wouldn't think oh, so. Oh, I'll, I'll join you. Uh, yeah. So I'll find an open pew away from. I don't want to disturb the others. Praying. Huh? Patient of form of praying. Hey, you all. Some of you. Aaron just kind of follows you. Okay. <laughs> um, you just find a place to sit. Aurora, you're kind of by yourself. Do, do. Sit like. Uh, Aurora did a thing. So you pray. Yeah. Reach out. Uh, once I finish my prayer, I want to okay. look over at Hulahan. Um, I will go and look at it. I'm going to try something. Okay. Normally answer like, back. With that, without any like spoken word, just all in my head. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to pray to Yiren. Okay. Legend. Oh, a paladin with like a plus one. Okay, at least it's plus. 
That's a ten. Get a As you reach out, you can feel some tendrils in the ether of of his body. Too weak right now for you to really grab hold of anything. Uh huh. But I'm able to reach something. You can just definitely sense him out there somewhere. Okay. The, uh... How do you spell urine? Like wow. urine with an Y. No, wait. Yes. So... Having finished his prayer, the uh, priest in the back will start reciting a new prayer this time. Alright. Type type. Sorry. We can all hear you, you know. one a deity I would recognize. What? Is that a deity I would recognize? You know, like at least like be like, oh yeah, I know that guy. Like what? In court? Yeah. He's um he's the one you would have heard about. He's 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 just the god of storms in battle. He's think of him like this for this person. Um, yeah, you you're, you would be familiar with all of the probably major, yeah, the minor gods. Um, and I guess I'm kind of looking around. Um, for any anyone who might be chatty. Most of the of the patrons are sitting and right, saying right. The only one who seems to be talking at all is the man in the back. Yeah. Is he like, like praying to? Is everyone kind of doing their own thing? Is is he leading something? No, he's he's just kind of. Well, I, I think I'm just going to head over closer and, and listen. All right. All I'm doing is sitting cross-legged on this pew, saying things like, Hi, Raven Queen, what's going on? How am I supposed to be doing this? Is this how this works? How do you answer? No idea what I'm doing. Doing good. <laughs> Carry on. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna kind of come closer so I can sort of see what's going on and maybe. Well, he's reciting. Well, see if I can. Yeah. So he's reciting these prayers out of a book, and he almost mm -hmm. seems to be doing it in a robotic fashion, as if it's not the first time he's done it. It's not the last time he's gonna do it. He just has to do it. Okay. 
is there any sort of like sort of subtle way I can get his attention sort of at a, you know, when you're finished, I could uh, I could chat with you, you know, or, or let him know. Are you approaching the altar? Yeah. Okay. As you walk up, I... he stops. Yeah. And look at you. What do you need, child? I, I was I was gonna stop by. Um, I I came here to to pray to Saloon and and just I'm from Riska. Um, how everything's going here? What? Patient and service. They will. Once again, quiet because of some misdeed or repentance, we must. And so, you're is there anything that you're doing about that? Pray and offering our faith and our service. we can, trying to atone for the sins of our past. Now, why do you think it's it's something that, that we've done? Relationship between God and Test our faith. But like trial to test faith, that doesn't necessarily mean that that we've done. Like, do we do we do you have any idea what what sort of of misdeed you're repenting for? Well, we ourselves may not have done particular. When did, when did you lose contact with the gods here? Months ago. Same time that the giant moon appeared. Fated then. I have no evidence of that. Have you gotten any sort of a feeling or a read from the moon? Yes. And do you think things have changed since we've lost contact? Have you noticed any in in up north like further north where we're hearing about animals being more aggressive and and problems like that? Are are you running into anything similar here? The thieves in this town seem to be getting it's just Oh, and my knee hurts. That's a problem. Okay. No, that's I'm 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 a priestess at the the chapel in in Riska and have been sent to to investigate what's going on. Um, Which deity did you say you? Saloon. How so? Okay. 
I do oh. see that it's connected to her somehow. Okay. It's one hell of a coincidence. It's it's definitely disconcerting. Um Yeah, yeah, in a way, is, is we're trying to find a way to what is going on, and, and yeah, to bring the gods back, but that's, I don't know, it's a lot. A lot of gods. Some more known than others. Perhaps you can. Do you know of any of the gods? Oh, sorry. Do you know of any of the gods sending a message or, or anything before the moon or before all of this happened, before we lost contact? I am aware. Seem to be. They weren't aware then. And I notice you're praying to to many of the gods. Is is there one that um, you're especially dedicated to? My own hands. Do not doubt any of their power. Um. Thank you. If I have more questions, would it be okay to come back later? Would there be a good time? Rather inquisitive. For better or for worse, yes. So yeah, I will uh, kind of head back, um, maybe just sort of chill out. And I think I might, hmm, I'm going to step outside. Okay. Is there a quieter spot? Um, that, that wouldn't necessarily have a lot of people around. I'm going to go to the graveyard. <laughs> All right. All righty then. <laughs> All right. Interior crew. Want anything in particular? Well, I'm going to let Ulahan and Aurora know that uh, Aaron and I shall be going to the library. All right, I'll pop my eyes open and follow. All right. How are you doing? All right. We're in the graveyard. It's quiet. Right. It's quaint. It's um maybe fifty feet wide by fifty feet. Graveyard. And here are buried um holy figures of the church and 
asked the priest in chat and uh All right. Quiet. Um I'm gonna reach into my pocket and and pull out the um the necklace I had requisitioned and and look at it um and reach out to Yaren. So you're holding it? Mm-hmm. Uh, roll religion with a plus two. Okay. Shout and manage to find what you're looking for out in the field. I did. I I wanted to check in. Um, I you seem to have an interest in in the girl that we're with. Um, with Aaron. Um, what is that? Sure. Can't quite explain it. Perhaps you should try and find out more about her if you can. You'd mentioned an eternity lost? We had a hunch about that one. Oops. But anything you know specific anymore that 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 would be we could do to to make sure she is protected. forces on me. He knows we're coming. 
we're we're heading towards. Who's he? And responsible for what she is. I do not know his name. I had more answers. Fortunately, right now I don't. Question. You had mentioned the gods destroying you. Were all of the gods involved with that? What was Saloon's involved? Oh. What was that? destroyed. What was Saloon's involvement? Thank you. Um, is there anything else I ought to know? Churches. Okay, thank you. I, I will do that. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna stick my nose back in the church. Okay, where's the amulet? I I'm gonna put it back in my pocket. Meanwhile, back at the plot. Hmm, which things? Yeah. All right, Varen, you make your way back to the alley in which you've previously discovered. Think your way over to the door. It's about 3 p.m. and you, you find the marking next to the. Again, it's a it's a really. There's no one else around. All right. I guess we're gonna go up and knock on it. Slit opens. Eh. Sorry, but you remind me of my mother. Close enough. <laughs> oh crap! Did he I slides it down? back and opens the door. Come in, refresh yourself. Of course. Make your way down into the into the bar, and there's quite a few patrons in there. Two gentlemen, you 
spoke to previously are not there. Is the bartender uh, standing behind the counter? Is the woman there? All perception. She appears behind you with a dagger to your throat. Managed to just eye her. She's leaning up against a uh, wall near a nail. Alright, I'm gonna walk over to her. Okay. Well, well, if it isn't the little mouse. Come back mouse. for a. Come back for some. Yes, some work and some information. Well, information, like anything, is a commodity. You're gonna have to earn the right to ask questions around. And I assuming I do that by doing the work. I had a feeling you might be back, so I set aside a personal contract for you. Oh. Hand you a very thinly rolled um piece of par a uh, piece of paper. No bigger than the Gonna, I'm just gonna open it. Okay. Side. It says. Steal the Corin family ring. You have one night to complete this task. Five hundred favor and five hundred. Hmm. This word here, favor. What does that mean, exactly? Gold is what you can use to buy all of the things out on the streets. Favor is to buy the things you can't buy. If you know what I mean. Yes, I think I understand. Need some new thieves tools? Uh -huh. Need some new... information? Perhaps need to put a head out on somebody? Do what you want. You gotta earn it. Alright then. Can you tell me any more about this family ring? I'm new in town, I don't know any of the Mephobles. Well, the Corrin family estate is located on the eastern side. Typically, there are three guards who make patrols during the day. However, period at night, say around Shift change. One guard will be active on Wednesdays. That would be the most likely time to complete such a task. Hmm. Anything else I should know about? Or is that it? We get caught, we never knew you. Of course. Well, I thank you for this. Huh? Complete this little task of mine, and I'll consider it. A member? What does a membership get me? Thanks. And access to some more lucrative contracts. Hmm. Alright then. I thank you for this job opportunity. Got a few hours to kill. What do you plan to do? Well, I guess I'll hang around here for a bit. You any good at cards? Shh, uh, I'm okay at cards. But I'm partial to dice. Okay, do you care for a game? Sure. I assume you brought your own. Yes, of course. Alright. Wait, 
Wait, do I need to have like a game set or something? Or... Yeah, you have a, you'll just have a pair of dice. Okay. All right. Simple dice game. Uh, general rules is going to be very simple. If you roll higher than your opponent, you win. If you roll a seven. Uh, okay. So. Just two d six, right? Yeah. And. Are you going to attempt to? Mm, nah, not this time. Okay. Oh, you're gonna have to do better. Than that. There we go. I don't think we made a wager on this, actually. I'm going to put down just like a five gold wager. Okay. Oh, I rolled d20s. Whoops. Failure. Don't worry, boys and girls, I'm logging everything. Hi. That was a oh, lucky roll. Oh, look at roll. that, I won. Hmm. Double or I nothing. I think you were lucky that round. Double or nothing. Care to go again? How... Sure, let's up the stakes. How about a ten gold bet? Ten? Sure. Bro, you're looking like a petty ass thief to you. Right <laughs> Should have bet 50. Bro, I think she'd be scoffing at anything less than a thousand. I'm not gonna no, lie. She rolled a seven, so she lost. Wait. I sense a streak coming on. Let's up it to 50. How about a hundred? Sure. Oh! That's just not fair. Mm, you can check me. I'm not hiding any extra dice. I'm just going to pick up your dice and inspect them. Are these weighted? No, I've been rolling legit this whole time. Need you more if you said they were. Ha! <laughs> Do you want to go again? I think I've lost enough money. To... Fine, suit yourself. Tempter, tempter, uh, tempter. Do it. How about you tell me a little bit more about this operation? You said that you have a, a station out in Malak Jin? I'm the leader of this one. Can't remember the bastard's name. He's in charge over there. Well, is there some sort of grand authority that presides over all of you? Well, yes. Ask me for information on him, I'm not allowed to tell you. All you need to know is that he calls himself the Lord. If 
you ever get a message from him. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to head out now. I thank you for the job opportunity. Uh, why do you keep calling me Mouse? I like to come up with nicknames for you. Tiny Mouse. <laughs> better than a rat, I suppose. I named the place after it, after all. But so you named the place. Weird bar. How long has this sort of organization existed? Well, this chapter has only existed for seven years now. And operation. We've been in business. Hmm. I've never heard of this sort of thing before. Maybe. And she said, getting up and just weren't good enough. It's like burn. All right. I guess I'm gonna go and uh, leave the tavern then. <laughs> no, come back from that. None. All right. So, yeah. where do you are, are you wanting to basically skip time until mid around midnight, or do you want to I'm, do your heist? I want to sort of walk around there to sort of get a lay of the land. I'm gonna I'm just gonna eye the place up. Let's go look out. Okay. Cool. So, give me a series of perception checks or investigation, your choice. Say, um, give me five. All right. Okay, so 20 on the first. First, your first investigation is the exterior of the building. So it's a it's got a fence. Um, the fence is about seven feet tall iron fence with large spikes. You know what kind of fence I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Typical old, like an old-fashioned English fence. Solid concrete floor, uh, base, and this spans around the entire perimeter of the property. There is a large gate, and two smaller side gates. There is always a guard mentioned at the front gate, and we'll go ahead and use you as your security personnel. So I said there's always a guard at the front gate and one guard at each of the side gates. Chained dog just outside the house. Okay, next roll. Next, you would look at layout. So there oh, are pathways. Yeah, there are pathways. Oh, you rolled a. Yeah, I just rolled a straight d twenty. I forgot to add one. Okay, so there's a there's a path that comes in from each gate, and on either side of these pathways is a sh very small decorative um, half wall fence, and there's a couple of trees. Rubbery, a couple of fountains. There's uh, one fountain, and in general, it looks like, given if it was dark enough, it would be quite easy to sneak around. All right. All right. Next, we'll do the layout of the house itself. There is a front door and a back door. It is two stories tall with an awning and a porch. There is a viewing room, which is basically a half-circle room with a large 
and um, there's windows on the second story, balcony on the second story as well, which has a door. All right, and last but not least, we will say that guards path patterns of walking. The guards will go up the path house from the two side guards will walk up their paths to the house and back every 30 minutes. The main guard will walk to the house and back every two hours. Okay. And I should note that at at not every every night at around eight p.m. the dog is brought in from outside. Uh, and what time was the shift change? Twelve p.m. Okay. No, I'm just writing some of this stuff down. to take notes. About to say this is all you, I ain't logging this. <laughs> and remind me, the three guards are two at the side gates and one at the main gate, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. The wall all around the property. Property is square. The north will say, based on its orientation with the city, the main gate will be on the west side of the property. The two side gates will be on the north and south. And there is a gate in the back. And the house is in the center of the property. Okay, uh, I think I'm ready to skip time then. Alright. Thirty. Taking the place out for a little while. It's now dark. The dog has been brought inside. <clears throat> Where are you going to be in terms of starting? I think I'm going to be starting by like sneaking around the side towards one of the side gates or every every 30 minutes they move up right so um so if it would be about 11:30 two side gate guards will start walking towards the house and by at this by the way it's nighttime they are carrying Lanterns. Okay then. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna start sneaking around the sides then, like sort of around back, so that I can try and get in through one of the side gates. Okay. If the guard's not there. After the guards have sufficiently passed, you step up to the gate. Oh, well, if only there's a way to pass this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to lockpick it. Okay. Uh, I think I do. It'll That's, be sleight of it, hand, right? It's a pretty simple lock, so go ahead. It would be, I'm about to say, it, you can either use uh, the tool as a check or sleight of hand, whichever you have a higher proficiency in. Uh, or I expertise. Think, I'm pretty sure I have a higher proficiency. I think I have equal proficiency in them, actually. So Probably. As long as you didn't take expertise and Definitely slide take a hand. the lock and slide the gate open. The gate opens with a slight creak. 
All right, I'm going to close it behind me as well. Close it, you hear a click. Nice. Okay. The guard um, is still walking towards the house from your location. It's about 70% there, so he'll probably start heading back in a couple of minutes. All right, then. Uh, while the guard is moving towards the house, I'm going to move towards the house as well. Go ahead and roll stealth I... with advantage. Shadows. Oh, I didn't give my... Fuck. Oh my god, I forgot to add them. I forgot to add my proficiency, so... Uh, six, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're in the shadows. You're sneaking up beside the, uh... Next, the guard reaches the end of his path. Stops for a moment, looks around, makes sure that everything's in order, and turns around and starts heading back. He's right. heading your so he's heading your way, and you're like he's walking on the path. You're off the path, behind you. maybe two feet tall. Okay, then then I'm just gonna get real up close against the wall and wait for him to pass. Passed you. I'm going to continue on towards the house. Okay. Um, you notice that one light is on in the house on the bottom floor. Hmm. Well, one, is there, there is a candle or a lantern on. Alright. Uh, is there any, like, is there, like, a balcony or something, anyway, that I could climb up to the second floor? There is a balcony, but there is no... trellis that you could climb up it's just uh it's 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 has two column supports that you could climb up two wooden columns uh. all right uh i don't have anything like spider climb yet so <laughs> i'm just gonna uh try and get into the the just like the door normally on the ground floor or actually no 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 can i uh <clears throat> can i retroact that yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay uh can i look in the window that has the candle just like sort of... all right you see Uh, a simple candle lantern in a glass container sitting on top of a table lit you can see sleeping on a little mat is the dog oh. be in the living room right, this room has got couches and chairs all right then i'm just gonna go in through the door stealthily as possible try not to wake the dog okay The door's locked. Lock picking it. Will this be harder than the gate? It's open.
Alright, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna leave. Hmm? Dog's about 15 feet away. Staircase on your left. Out of wood. <clears throat> so I'm going is there like a, a room opposite where the dog is opposite of the dog is the dining area alright then alright then I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and make my way upstairs Uh, yeah. Yeah, you get to the top of the stairs. There was a few of them that uh, made a little groaning as you stepped up. House. You get to the top of the stairs and play now. A couple of rooms on your I'll go into a room on the right. It's empty. Bed. Anyone relatively. sleeping in it? Or? No one's sleeping in it. It's empty. It's relatively... Okay, then. I'm going to leave that one and go into the left one. You see a young boy sleeping in the bed, probably around the age of 10 or 11. Do I notice anything like a jewelry case or anything in the room at all? No, there's a, there's a few miscellaneous objects and toys and... Kind of messy. All right, then. I'm going to turn around, and uh, there's like a hallway, right? Yeah, there's two more rooms, one on the right, one on the left. I'm going to go, huh? Balconies at the end. All right, then. I'm going to go into the other one on the right. Yeah, a man and a woman sleeping in their late 40s. Either side of them are two nightstands. Some rather elegant looking clothing. Furniture and a, some <coughs> carpets about the room. Yep. Top of the dresser, you see a small. All right then, I'm going to it. Uh, I'm going to go and reach for the box. Okay. Hmm. Can I? Can I like examine the box more? Like, see if it's drilled in or something. Nailed it. It is attached to the dresser in a way you cannot really explain. Tiny keyhole in the front. Is it... I'm going to attempt to pick it. This is where we never hear from Fearin again. <laughs> yep. Get, remember those directions, guys. 
Oh, never mind. Pops open. And you see a few pieces of jewelry, three rings and a necklace, sitting on a lovely posh red pillow. I will close the box, or wait, no, I'll just take everything. Okay. And is there a window in the room? A few. All closed. All right, then. Uh, I really want to check the other room on the left, but I don't know. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to sneak out and check the other room on the left. Okay. As you shut the door, you hear a woof. The dog, the dog barks from downstairs. Jewelry box, by the way. Uh, yes. He did. I did. Angus, shut up. What was his name? Is it? <laughs> Frangus. <laughs> <laughs> you why? What were you? I'm telling Jared about. The dog this. keeps barking. By the way. Uh, is, did that voice come from downstairs? or the came room from right the room there? you just left. Okay, then. I'm going to book it. Heading towards the balcony. <laughs> okay. Well, that balcony door is locked. Oh, God. Uh, okay, then. You Wait, start, what? You hear someone get out of bed. Thump of the feet on the floor. God damn it, Fringus. Okay. Uh, I'll attempt to pick the lock fast. Do we get any disadvantage or? No, but that doesn't mean it won't. <laughs> no! <laughs> get angry! Bumble around in the dark and drop your. Uh, alright. Uh, I guess I'm gonna. Uh, I guess I'm gonna pick it back up. I'm going to keep trying. Oh, are you kidding me? The door behind you opens, and a somewhat portly looking man, wearing little more than underwear, comes out and starts walking. Damn dog, I'm on a Okay, I'm gonna be uh as still as possible. <laughs> okay. Just apply that Jurassic Park logic. <laughs> if we stand still, it won't see it. it. Won't see us. So gets to the end of the hallway and turns stairs. Does he go down the stairs, though? Looking right at you. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm, staying. I'm giving you time to react here. To react? Yes. Okay. Quick pocket sand. So, basically, oh. time is frozen. Just saw you. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm considering it at this point. Um, I'm gonna get a him to splash it. potion. Yeah, but say ain't a splash potion like in Minecraft. I don't like, know. I'll hello? just flick. I'll flick it at him. I'll flick it at him. Uh, but okay. I'll just uh. 
All right, I'm going to attempt to... How far away am I from the other doors? The other doors? I mean, yeah. the one on the right that you didn't go in, it would be your right now. You know, just, like, jump away. All right, I'm just going to keep picking the lock. Keep attempting to. Hey, we'll roll. Oh, he's looking at you. I just want to get out of here as fast <laughs> as I can. If it opens, I'll just book it. <laughs> ah! And Rangers, this is where his luck runs out. We got ourselves an intruder. <laughs> you hear the, you hear the the dogs charging upstairs. Fork, fork. A few seconds. All yeah. right, I'm going. Uh, I'm gonna run. Don't you I'm have gonna... ball bearings? Do I have ball bearings? I think I do, actually. Yeah. I need to check what's in burglar's pack more often. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trust me, I've played enough rogues to know what's in a burglar's pack. I'm pretty sure you got like I think it's a thousand. Yeah, ball a thousand bearings. ball bearings. Goddamn. Give yeah, then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh I'm gonna throw ball bearings. A handful of them down the hallway. Yeah. All right. Well, the dog's coming. And, uh, <clears throat> and now the man is coming as well, and he's made quite a racket. And you hear pe other people getting out of their beds. So, um, <clears throat> now what are you going to do? I mean, I can only help you so much. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take out. I'm going to take out the hammer that's in the burglar's pack and just smash. Is it a glass door out to the balcony? Got a glass window, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to smash that. <laughs> so, smash the window. So you smash the window, and you can now jump outside. All right, yeah. Um, in your haste, you cut yourself on the glass. Ooh, how much damage? Take damage for cutting yourself. Oh, God. Alright, so you're now on the balcony with half the house coming at you. Dog trying to jump at you through the window. All right, how close is the nearest roof? Like, is the proc what's the proximity well, of this house? So though? you're on the balcony. The roof is behind you. No, but I mean, like other houses' roofs. Is it close oh, enough yeah, for me to jump? It's on not. Another? You're you're in an estate. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, if I'm on the balcony, though, can I can I get up on the balcony railing and climb on the roof? Um, can I? I just want you to understand. You're on an island of sorts. The house is an island surrounding the estate. You could go on the roof. I just okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and drop down from the balcony. A uh, ten foot drop. And I guess climb down be, on like one of the pillars. If you want to jump, be acrobatics either way. Yeah. Oh boy.
Oh, thank okay. God. Slide down the pole and manage to make it to the ground without having issues. Then you hear the front door swing wide open. Gods, we have a thief! Uh, how close am I to the wall? Uh, 50 foot sprint. And the wall, I'm assuming the wall is high enough to, like, leap over, like, sort of... It's 7 foot over. and covered, and, and it's an iron rot, so... Let me... I could climb it then, right? But there's spikes at the top. Yes. Yeah, you could carefully avoid those spikes. I, I think so. Yeah, I mean... I've climbed those kind of fences in parkour. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right now... We don't I talk like about that... the people who failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about those. They, they make it on YouTube compilations of a different variety. Okay. Alright, yeah, I'm going to attempt to climb up over the fence. Run athletic, uh, Roll athletics, I want to see how fast you're running. Uh, see if it gets a boost to his normal running speed. Adrenaline rush. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> no, no boost. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right, so you're you're running. Um, there is one guard semi close to you, and so you make it to the wall. Now you have to attempt to climb over it, which will be an acrobatics roll. The guard, pretty close behind you. I'm just gonna try and climb. <sighs> you um, you make it about halfway over the fence when the guard grabs cloak. Yeah, I guess I'm wearing a cloak. Well, he'll, he'll grab all the part of your cloak. Try to pull you back over. Um. Have you roll face. strength versus him? Kick his face. <laughs> uh, sorry, I got. Someone came into the office. Whoops. This went from like Pink Panther music at the start to like Benny Hill's theme. I think there's Skyrim combat music play. <laughs> okay. So you make it over the fence, but part of your cloak gets torn. running yeah i'm just gonna keep running keep booking it so and i'm uh on top of that uh actually how i'm assuming i'm jumping out into like a little like sort of pathway that leads from the side gate or something like that yeah you're jumping off onto a normal street all right then i'm gonna throw ball bearings in the direction of the side gate okay buy yourself some time as you dart off into the shadows. Yep. And we'll say 30 minutes to an hour will pass as you weave your way in and out of alleyways, trying to keep stealth. And, uh, you do eventually lose your pursuers. Oh boy. I'm sensing a bounty. Okay, uh, so I lost them. I, uh, what time is it? Oh, it, uh, it's like 12.30, I'm assuming. Yeah, um, 12.30 is a good, yeah, 12.30. Yeah. I'm going to head back. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to write on my tablet. Uh... I'm going to write down, just had a close call, 
um, might need to disappear. Don't know yet. <laughs> Gonna predict that everyone else will be asleep at this point? Uh, it's just something for them to find in the morning. <laughs> so where do you want to head? I'm gonna head to the rat's cage. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, uh, we'll we'll say you make your way back to the rat's cage after a few minutes. Password, and they let you in. Uh, it's a little little bit more cleared out in here than it was earlier. Handful of patrons left. Off doing their own job. <laughs> sure. Wait, sleeping? Is it like an inn? Or I assumed it was just like a bar. Like no. It's a bar, food. but um, they have uh, they have beds, but you ever asked? So. Hey man, <laughs> just take it. Just take it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is the oh god, I forgot her name. It's like Siran or something, right? Sirana. I'm just gonna. Uh, is she up and about, or is she doing her own thing? She's uh, behind the counter having a conversation with the barkeeper. All right, I'm gonna walk over to them. Well, I don't really see what matters. It's a contract, it's a contract. We don't really turn our nose. Yes. But we also are not assassins. Your little mouse found some cheese. And I, like, put down the rings on the table. Christ. Yes. Damn it. Okay, so you set the amulet for your face. Shit. Yep. Shit. Well, it's not I may not be talking for a while. I spilled water. <laughs> well, it's not exactly what we asked for. Wait, what do you mean exactly? These are just really fancy looking rings, um, and a nice necklace. Should fetch a really good price. The family's heirloom ring is in the hands of their son, who, uh, I'm assuming was there. No doubt. My face, <laughs> my face sort of drops noticeably. He's one of the royal guards at the castle, so he would have liked to Galia. You've done adequately. Yes, of of course. Um, now there may have been some complications getting out. Did you have a little bit of fun on your way? Yeah, fun's a way to say it. I think I... Do they spot you or recognize you? Spotted, yes. Recognized, I'm not quite sure. Well, if your name... If your face starts showing up on bounty posters, I guess you can add them to the wall here. Now, I need to ask... Do you have any deals with the guards? Like, could I get off scot-free if they caught me? Maybe if you slid them a bit of gold. That's enough for me. Do I get paid anything for this one? They did the contract, although... Exactly to the letter. Oh, yes. You can deduct anything. I do like to be precise, but, you know. Fair. 500 gold. Uh, 
I'll go get your payment. Why don't you have a drink in the meantime? Of course. Side room. Do you have any dwarven mead? I'll take it. Don't know how safe you uh, the place. Well, thank you. <sighs> around here, I'll take it. Yeah, around the city, yes, but this kind of business, not exactly. To the trade, my friend. Trade. So, looking for any more work? I'd say sure, but nothing more that can be done tonight. In browsing our contracts, let me know. Alright, just let me know what you have. Now I got two pilfering, basically taking stuff from someone else, whether off their person or out of their house. I got one. Um, got one uh, silence contract. You ought to go meet with a particular client and make sure he keeps his mouth shut. And I've got an assassination contract. You ought to kill somebody, plain and simple. Any means necessary. Assassination? Yeah, it's not one we typically do, but the boss made it. Um, let me look at one of the pilfering contracts. Right. So, and you, he slides you two little pieces of paper. O stands for pilfering. Shows you the silence one. Silence is red, and assassination is black. Alright, thank you. I'm gonna take the pilfering one. Okay, you open it open up. Open it up, yeah. It's a simple contract. It has a little warding on it that says, Careful, owner of the item is known to use magic. And, uh... The contract is steal an enchanted amulet. Name, location. Does it say the pay on it? Thousand and five hundred gold. Thousand five hundred. Okay. Uh, some of which is considered hazard pay. Okay. <laughs> hazard, after all. Is there like, uh, is there a time limit on these or? On this particular one, no. Alright, I'm gonna take it and thank the barkeep. I'm sure you do that at least at some point. Yes, yes. I'm a man of my word. Um, Serana comes in the room and pops a bag of coins on the counter. It's your payment. Takes the jewelry and necklace. Now, you said earlier something about a membership? Well, yeah. Did what we asked, and... But in? Counter and slide it across the... Uh, uh, the... You could put on. Alright. Yeah, uh, I'll put it, I have like a, I'm just, my armor has like a couple pockets and stuff, like little straps. I'm just going to put it under like one of the straps. Most importantly, that will get you into any, any other dens. Mm, 
Why, thank you for this. This is extremely handy. Rank up, you will receive... Contract keepers know that you can handle dangerous work. What are the ranks? Well, you're just a novice. Alright. This is very useful information. Do you mind if I crash here for tonight? Certainly. Alright. I'm just gonna go to bed in one of them. There. Chapel real quick. So you come you come back into the chapel and it looks just like it did before. Mm -hmm. Man behind the altars lighting some more prayers. Alright, I'll approach the altar and kind of, yeah, like wait for a pause. Good. I have um I, yeah, I, I had a question about one of the gods um, that I'm not very familiar with. Um, I know nearly all of them. Yuren? Are, are you familiar with Yuren? Back in my younger days. It's a curious fellow. Rather gifted with magic. My days and I traveled the world. Saw the sights there was to see. Care to admit. Basically. <laughs> Aaron, yes. How so? Stories. Name you. I've heard bits, yes. It's not exactly like it's local legend. Ancient tomes lost a time. Tend to forget we are mortals at the time. Things just don't survive over death. I would very much. Time before time, it was empty. Nothingness was found. And from the nothingness came a spark. Breathed and moved and called himself Yaren. He looked upon the world and saw. He wept. stretched out his hands, and he touched the world. Set the foundations. But Yaron gazed upon the world, and he saw the world. More determined now, he began to shape the world. He planted trees, he carved mountains. 
Hug Rivers. When he was done, he breathed a great breath into the sky. He was satisfied, and he turned to gaze upon this world once more. Saddened, he saw it was still empty. So Yaron took all the energy he could muster, the seed which he planted, planted it in the heart of the world. From it grew a towering, magnificent tree. And from this tree he harvested life, all life that would come to this world. The air, fish of the sea, even us. And after this, Yaron was tired. The others came. The newly created mortals of this world had the attention of celestial beings. We call them the gods. They came to this world, seeking to win over the hearts of these mortals, harness their energy through worship. Some gods were benevolent. Some were not. Aaron refused. Aaron claimed that this world was his. These mortals were of his own. He served no one. After the Aaron. Weak. God shattered him, separating his soul from his body. You cannot kill a god. They try. They cast his soul into a million pieces. This is what happened to you. Stories tell me. It it was very useful. Um You've you've been saying prayers to the other gods. Have you been reaching out to him? Just in case. I mean there's there is no proof that Yaren was actually real. Just stories. Do you think? Why do you think that? 
shattered his soul into a million pieces. Sense that curiosity is founded in something else. Ask questions of such a being. I've been pointing in that's in his direction. Um, to to look into him, and that that might be important. Um, a piece in all of this to try to. I don't know what. I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, and he told me to ask about it, ask you, he, Yaren. I very well could be. Believe that anyone ever heard. Makes you say that you've spoken something using that name. Any degree of power. Perhaps, my dear. Strands in a grand wheel. I will think on that, definitely, and I, I appreciate your wisdom. And I guess, yeah, I will head out of the chapel and try to find my library buddies. Library buddies. Yep. Or is not. Okay. Finding things that will go boom. Alchemist. Approach the, approach the library, the quaint little building. Are we going in? Tell ya. Dara. You go in. <clears throat> Still the water is the Gotcha. Okay, so you go in. It smells very papery in here. Smell of books somewhere. Nope, it sure doesn't. Smells of, you know, scrolls. That 
wonderful library smell. Find the scribbling on a piece of paper. Rather short. Kind of hard to see him over the desk. Hello. Oh, look who it is. I fixed it. Didn't short out. Nope. Is that good? Yeah, I spilled basically like a 7 Eleven big gulp sized cup. Jesus. Why is that on <laughs> your computer desk? Don't ask. We're in the library. Yep. I was still able to hear everything. That's the one buying, buying explosives. What you guys doing? Well. Is, you say uh, there's like a little like counter with a librarian? Sitting behind a desk, scribbling on papers. I'm going to approach him. Uh, hello? Looks up a little bit. Glasses a little further on his nose. Can I help you? Uh, well, I've got this little one here, and I'm going to, like, gesture towards Aaron. The um, orc or seen... the, uh, dragonborn? Elf. Elf? I don't see any elves. Elves there, Nat. What? Is she hiding behind the desk? There. Uh, I have, like, Aaron kind of, I don't know, would Aaron be able to see over the desk? <laughs> oh Aaron, yes, I okay. I was literally going to have my Natalia lift Aaron up. <laughs> so are you looking for children's books then, or maybe something for younger? Uh... No, I think she can handle a bit more advanced material. How advanced are we talking? Uh... We've got everything in here from basics to, from, you know, math and history, wizardry and everything, all the way up to advanced theoreticals. Uh, Aaron, what, what would you like to learn about? Read about. He wants all the books, of course. Oh. Uh, Perhaps you can browse until you find something you're actually interested in? Probably for the best. She seems a bit uh, overwhelmed by the amount of books in here. All right, well, rules are be quiet, no fire, and don't leave with the books. I'll know if you take one. What you'll look like. Those rules okay with you, Aaron? All right. Well, uh, let's find. Let's let's browse then. <laughs> I'd like to approach the uh, guy and ask him a question about a book. Any books on hunting, Fay? Higher-powered fay. Hunting in what way? Like trying to find or communicate? Hunt hunting as a find or take out. Well, I doubt we have any material on how to kill them. How about trap? Uh, probably not. You're asking some pretty strange questions there, friend. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just take the one on. Do you make a habit of killing or trying to kill extra planar gods? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn a whole new, uh, take on a whole new job right now, so, uh, trying oh. anything, really. Okay. 
Well, might want to tell your boss to find you a less ridiculous field. Oofy. I'll, I'll relay the message. <laughs> Oofy. But about that, but, but about that uh, book. I don't know how to find them. What, what, which aisle would you uh, point me to? Well, there's a section on gods and deities and other powerful celestials and other kinds of beings. Third row on the right, top side. Um, it's in there somewhere. Thank you very much. Here. Okay. Where are the rest of you going? Actually, I'm going to ask him real quick. <laughs> Where's the fiction section? Fiction? What kind? Uh, genre? Um, you know, something light, really light. Um, I'd be first row on the left bottom side. All right. Right here? Yep. Ah, good deal. All right. All right, Talia, you're last. Yep. Well, I mean, I was following Aaron. Following Aaron. Gonna go. I'm gonna kind of like, because I still have that uh, one of the books. That I was kind of reading. I'll just kind of continue to read it. Not probably still not really understanding what's going on. Aaron has and, come uh, to the bookshelf. I'm gonna just like occasionally like uh. Maybe you should look at the bookshelf first, just to make sure it's safe reading material. Sure. You wouldn't want her to, you wouldn't want her to find the spicy romance section. Oh God. Um. So this particular book section. <laughs> Is it NSFW? Okay. This particular section of books has to deal with gravity. Not in the spellcasting variety, I'm talking about the literal physical gravity. So, more of a science and astronomy Definitely, type of deal? Definitely, yes. Science, planetary, her heresy, basically. Okay. Okay. Gravity does win. Gravity always wins. All in particular, right. we'll oh. say Aaron is reading a book about the laws of gravity and how it was discovered. By a Sir Fig Newton. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Aurora hit me with that Fig Newton. And killed Pluto! <laughs> Never forget. There you go. <laughs> Sir Fig Newton. <laughs> um, okay, so Dura, you find a, a section of fiction. You can find any kind of book here from action to drama to... You know, uh... Yeah, i around. Are you looking for anything finds, in particular? Find a saucy romance novel. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Think on it. We'll go back to. We'll go over to. Hula no, Hula definitely. Hand. Yeah, that's what I'm looking so Hula for. The Hulahan. You find a book all about gods, deities, and everything in between, including the Fae. So, find a section that deals with fey creatures, mostly cataloging the currently known ones, as well as 
R and quirks and all that is basically describing their personalities and all that good stuff. Find a book about from a man who writes sort of like journal of the Fae, like he sort of tells his experience traveling to the Fae and back. Ah, uh, what he experienced and all that good stuff. Definitely books here. That interested. Or um. Anything on? Sure. Like, point. Do you remember what people your cult worshipped a fae, right? Yeah, they basically were worshipping an arch fae. I don't remember if you told me what fae they were. No, no, yeah. I never, yeah, I never really made, made up anything because he never, he's just basically a my, soldier being sent out to convert people in the name of. I will say you do find exceptions that deal with this particular All right, I would definitely like to take that book then, if I recognize any markings or notes that have to do with something from Valtora. You can fill in the blanks if you like. All right, I'll have to get back to you on that. Yeah, it's fine. Aaron's reading a book about gravity. Talia's flipping through nation mumbo jumbo. Can I? Is there a language section? Yes. Uh. Uh. Talia wants to find a book on. Celestial. Intelligence again? Twelve. Okay. After a bit of searching, you can we'll say you find basics of understanding Celestial. Hi. It's going to take you a while to read and comprehend this book. Uh-huh. You I'm probably going to end up borrowing it. Can't take it with you. Can't take it out. Like, there's no renting it. Borrow it. I will. I want to make sure Aaron's kind of... She seems situated and sated. I'm going to go ask the librarian if I could borrow... To book. Okay. Yes. Um. This book on uh learning celestial. Uh, would it be any issue if I borrowed? Yeah. Are you a resident of the city? Uh. No, just visiting. Then the answer is no, I'm afraid. Only permanent residents may may rent books. I see. No special uh special circumstances barring maybe like we're here to help uh find the king's missing sunstone, perhaps? Oh sure. And I'm the prince. Well, I'm not lying. Those are the rules. Ah. Uh. 
Alright, well, I'll just continue to read it then, whilst I'm in here. Assuming you're gonna pout back to your chair. Yeah. You figured out what you want yet? Talia, yeah, I'm looking don't for a saucy like... romance novel. Hey! Talia don't like being told no. Were you reading rather than drinking tonight, Talia? Do what? So it'd be reading rather than drinking tonight? After that rather less than favorable librarian denied a simple request, I'll probably be joining you in a drink. Better get in on my reading before we go, though. Say you Indeed. find. We'll say you find something interesting, Dura. They, uh. Maiden's secrets about a young elf handmaiden who falls in love with Um, what are you reading? Yep. Uh, still pouting, but reading. Everybody roll perception. <laughs> Perception. Ooh, yeah. I want eight uh. and a nine. Uh. Ooh, land. Okay. <laughs> you must not have been that interested in your book because <laughs> <laughs> reading is not my strong You point. see a shadowy looking fellow looking at you all through the window. It's a window by chance. Hmm. Alrighty. And uh, uh, he noticed me noticing him, or it, or her. But you look, see him, back, and he's gone. Guys, uh, I think that figure was following us earlier, just appeared beyond, uh, from that window over there. Gone now, but he has to the window again. <sighs> Suppose I... we'll have to take precautions. Right. I wonder... Um, so, so guess who I talked to in the graveyard? Um, my best buddy now, I guess. I don't know. But, um... Yaren says that that whoever whoever Aaron was with um, beforehand um, knows about us and is is looking for us. Lovely. Yes, and and that we are not to leave her un unaccompanied ever. Aaron, if a weird cloaked man. Stranger danger. Tries to We're giving take her you. the stranger dangers. <laughs> I'm gonna hold up my fists and I'm gonna go fire fists. Okay. Is there actual fire going on? Please. Yes. Don't. Yes, she does. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna like. No. 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 Put it out. Put it out. Put it out. You hear the, uh, you hear the librarian just go. <laughs> goes back to his paper. <laughs> when I give Hulahan, like, a very, like, <sighs> you know the disappointed mother stare? Uh... Yeah, you're getting that. Yeah, I'm a little ashamed, sorry. I have... <laughs> I have a suggestion. What is that? Um... I don't like the idea of... Uh... Us leaving Aaron unaccompanied. And I don't like the idea of us only having... One person. 
watching her at any given time. We'll have to go to sleep at some point. What, uh, how are you, how do y'all feel about possibly bunking together at the end? If they can accommodate. And for her I own room, that. and we all just rotate in, staying up with her. I... Exactly. <clears throat> that seems all right. Dura? Yeah? Is that all right with you? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine by me. Oh, I didn't hear you because kind of, Discord was being all garbly. Ah. Uh... Right. Sounds good. Okay. So how long do you guys want to stay here and read? When is the library close? 10 p.m. I am staying in here as long as Aaron stays in here. She ain't leaving. Like, till you're till she's forced out. <laughs> Well, looks like I'm staying here till closing. And I'm going to have to, unfortunately, be the uh, bad cop here and have to drag Aaron out. Reassure her that uh, we'll, we'll come back at a later time. I like the idea of leaving earlier and getting dinner, but I, I also feel like... Like, uh, we shouldn't have, like, we probably ought to stick together. That would be best. Late dinner is never a big thing. Yes. What if the bird gets hungry? Ah, uh, he's got his crackers. He's been rather quiet, so that's good. Give him a cracker. Shh. Okay. What good food they have at the end? I'm sure you're hungry, Aaron. Head to the end now. <laughs> Turn your books and head to the yeah. end. Mm -hmm. Be the bad parent and drag Aaron away from all these books. <sighs> How many days has it been since she's been reading that herbalism and alchemy book I gave her? Two? Three? Uh... Wanted to go find something. Boom. <laughs> so you find yourself into the alchemy shop. Ah! My favorite customers. Welcome, welcome back. Here you go. <laughs> he has poofed. He drank his own invisibility potion. What are you in the mood for today? Explosive. Well. Bottled. Got some things. Quick question. How big? 
<laughs> well, I should inform you that only certain raids are legal. Fine. Sorry. That's where you go to get illegal fireworks, but they're legal there. That's a uh, that's a bottle down on. T or well, he rummages through stuff and finds. There's a of a liquid. And it is separated in the middle. Thin. You, it looks like paper. Up, it is a translucent white liquid, and on the bottom, it is a thick red liquid. I call this my bottle of booze. Shake. Throw it at your targets and watch the fireworks. Damage. Aurora is about to become Vendari real quick. Own item. 3d8 fire damage or half as much on a save. Friendly fire is... Nothing I'd be willing to sell legally. Don't have any dynamite, but I've got a keg. Do it. Any keg on the counter probably weighs about an ounce. Get out of it. Uh, well, it's not throwable. And it deals fire damage to anything within 10 feet uh, after its explosion. 76 fire damage, half as much on a save. I can hear Mari just going, I'll Total take 10. 350, it's... Half of that is my contraband fee. Yes, it's illegal.
Yes, I'm afraid it's... I'm afraid it is illegal. Well, <clears throat> sure. Go around telling everyone you have it, and then we'll say it's. Earth, are you trying to explode? Everything. Talking about an explosive charge capable of doing to a wall what the Lord of the Rings did to Helm's Deep. Trying <laughs> a freaking. It's almost like a shaped charge at this point. I can sell them to you, but explosives are illegal within city limits. Outside of that, you can do whatever you want to whoever you want, but inside city limits, they are strictly contraband. And if a guard catches you with them, well, you can be in jail. Got two people to have to bail out. <laughs> nah, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found a way out. Tell you what, pay for them now and pick them up. Probably don't want to be carrying around highly explosive devices with you anyway. Like I said, 350 for the keg and 200 for the bottle. Just buy all the kegs. I only have the one keg. Ah, uh, boo. It's illegal! Let's do 3d6. And in black suit showing up at your door. <laughs> Ten feet. has drop off the barrel does not essentially the bottle will do 3d6 damage to the surrounding tiles and 2d6 damage to those surrounding it keg does full damage across the entire spectrum Well, at least I don't have to worry about bailing Dura out of jail. You never know. Dura, I don't know what you could possibly do. <laughs> Caught reading NSFW fucking saucy novels. And you want to take it with you? I'll leave it here, if you wish. Okay. Will there be anything else?
Very well. I appreciate your business. Back at the inn. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, technically, Aurora would arrive. Or are you yeah. going to sit and eat or do anything? You're going to go up and sleep? What? Wait for the jade. Okay, that's gonna get some odd looks. <laughs> Are you gonna do patty cake? Do patty cake? Patty cake. <laughs> Do a my Mac. Taking playing with yourself to a whole new level. That's not acceptable. That should be mirrored right now. Excuse you. You have an is echo. It, is it corporeal, <laughs> by the way? Like, see through? Or is it just like. Like, is it intangible? Take your hand through it, basically. <laughs> so. Just before the other folks. Uh, Aurora, you see a rather interesting looking man coming in and... And they walk up to the bar. Eavesdrop, roll perception. Ouch. <laughs> They're talking to the bartender. Most of you all come in. Do we see Aurora playing with her echo? And no Viren. Uh, of course. Well, I'm sure he's fine. That's not Ed? anywhere near a week. No, for timeline's also, sake. Ed? Uh, He's not where? even done his mission yet. Oh, I haven't yeah. even done my mission. No, okay. it's the same day. We're just back in time. Same day. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So as a note, as we walk through town, I'm trying to be as alert as possible, kind of keeping my head on a swivel. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, so you, you enter into the tavern, and there's a couple people sat it down. One of them is Aurora, and the bartender is dealing with two new clients, so to speak. Patrons. Order up a train of fish for me. The is currently busy. Would you like to get in? You think let me go see what the specials are? Sure. All right, I'll go do that. I'll eat some food. You come up behind the uh, the, the pair, talking to the bartender. Are you serious? All of them. Best of luck. Rented all my rooms out, I'm afraid. Well, that's unfortunate. Matter of fact, them's the ones that done it. 
Where he's pointing at us. Yeah. Pair will turn. Oh well. It, it... I'm gonna I'm gonna wave at them. Just. I. <laughs> what do we do? It's no trouble. We'll find another inn. I'm sure. My brother and I are here on diplomatic mission and just hoping to stay at a more upper class inn. Actually, thinking about consolidating our rooms a bit, um, would that be possible? I guess. To fit us into maybe one or two rooms? Rooms ain't that big. You're gonna have to squeeze in. You're gonna have to double up. Probably it'll be okay. Could we? Elf. How about? What do we have? Five. Still rooms charging right now? you per head. Per head. All right. Um. Could you knock it down to three? Well, I reckon I could. Okay. I ain't moving beds though. Oh. Have to do that yourself. Oh, I thought That's he was fine. like just not letting us move beds at all. <laughs> yeah, we can move stuff around. It'll be fine. Well, that's a uh, mighty kind of you all. I don't typically expect this kind of generosity from strangers. Oh, it's it's no trouble at all. We we were we're planning on that anyhow. He offers his he extends his hand out. So I I reckon if you're staying at the inn, you're not from around here. No, and I, I reach back out to shake his hand. Um, we've we've only been here for a day now. All religion. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, that's the right one. Oh, nineteen. This guy's giving you the same vibes that the other one did. All right. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, what brings you to town? Well, uh, my brother and I are here to meet with the king and establish some trade routes between here and uh, Adonis. So, uh -huh. what might I call you? My name's Dura. Meet you. And I, I don't think I caught your name? It's because I didn't say it. My name is Michael, and this is my lovely wife, Ayla. Sort of bows. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you both. Appreciate you giving up one of your rooms, although, from what it sounds like, you might be taking the bed with you. Yeah, you're gonna have to figure that out with him. And I, I gesture at the the Varty. It might just be simpler for us to find our own. Sure, there's another tavern in town. Can I ask where you're all headed? We're just in town here to to do a little research and uh, get stuff. Maybe we'll see each other again sometime. Definitely, definitely. Um, say if you wanna if you wanna hang out and, and eat dinner with us, you definitely could. Sort of. Wife. That sounds like a plan to me. I'm starved. My brother might be along soon too. It sounds like yeah, that would be great. So they I guess can push some tables together and make a Bro, we just turned this into like a nine top. <laughs> Party. So you I guess can order whatever dinner would suit you and whatever yep, yeah, I say whatever the special is and I'm getting a uh I wanna get a pint of ale. I already said I already told Hulahan I was drinking. Y'all sit down around the table, and you're, you're, he brings out some drinks for you, and some, some say, appetizers, like some bread, and butter. maybe some cheese. Cheese! Edgar looks at the cheese, and he caws. 
I'll feed him a, a little bit of cheese. Hex it on your Are head, because you? it's hard for him. Ah. Uh. That's quite the own rowdy bird you've got there. Uh, I wasn't always the best at taming animals. I think he likes you. Oh, well, he's quieter today than he was yesterday. So he's definitely behaving. A friend of mine who once had a bird like that. Something never shut up. Um. Oh, yes. It would. Call and call all the day long. He was never well, really good with pets. Well, if you have any tips or anything. Give it time. They, they tend to warm up to new owners. So, where are you headed after this? This kind of addresses the party. What's the name of the other town? Cool. Yeah, that one. <laughs> hey. That's ah. a drink. Just up the road, isn't it? Hey. Tell me about this continent. What do you know? I'm curious. Well, I can't tell you much about this region. I'm from much further south in Sanctitude. I could tell you all about that, but... Why aren't we allowed to pass through the mountain range? <laughs> what I've heard is that... Oh. Go for it. Correct, her. I'm sorry? King. King? Yeah. Did you do something to offend him, perhaps? Or... Play seal? Particular, I believe. They're just closed off all passage because... Someone... Are they talking about... Some... Are y'all talking about Ravon? The, the king of Ravon was assassinated. And, and they've sealed off passage um, while they try to search for who did it. Terrible. It sounds terrible, yes. Amber on our plans. Were you hoping to head to Ravan? Well, yes, indeed. Uh, we were going to make several stops along the uh, continent. Silver Hearth, Sanctitude. Well, if the, if the king's been off, I, I don't suppose I'll be heading there anytime soon. Now, where are you? You said you were from Adonis? Oh, yes. Uh, it's quite a ways across the sea, you see. It's another large continent. But I have even remotely heard of it being from a trade city. I mean, all, all of you would have, in through general knowledge, been aware that there is another continent named Adonis, and then there is a third continent named Karagal, which is also called the Eastern Lands. Um, and out Adonis. It's uh -huh. like. Like? Yes. <sighs> Beautiful land. Grand cities. South, we have beautiful forests, particularly in the uh, Elven Kingdom. Shorelines, populations. All the things one could ask for. Your typical continental things. I'm afraid I don't really know. We don't 
We're not that much more special than anywhere else, to be fair. But we have a good trade system, and our kings and queens are quite outgoing, and they wish to extend an olive branch over here and establish some trade routes to get some, some exports going to help everyone make a bit more coin. Well, if you happen to find yourself in Sanctitude, as you've mentioned, uh, might I recommend you and the missus stop by uh, a little bakery known as a it's a home to a little old lady Granny Jo just tell her Talia sent you that a cook like a grandmother very true no one can also beat you with a uh, ladle faster than a grandmother mother would have had something to say about that what are you looking into? What kind of trade? Well, export a lot of raw goods. For example, um, we have some very extensive mining operations in the north. Um, we produce a lot of raw ore. That is one thing we're looking to export. So produce a lot of rare, rare items, uh, such as <clears throat> we have a pearl harvesting operation. We, we have a lot of pearls, and they're quite rare and valuable. Come here, see what they have to trade. Other than that, we have some general things like herbs and spices and <clears throat> furs. Are there you're hoping to gain from us? Are, are there things you're hoping to import? <clears throat> well, I've heard some rumors. Particular tree that is on this continent. This is a leaf that is exquisitely powerful in as a spice. Turn uh -huh. any dish into something spectacular and gourmet. Wait. Wait. I see. Wait, waiting. Are there are the two leaves of that thing that same? Wait. Do you know what it's called? By chance. Uh. kind of pull out like the little bottle of like my last two elder thing elder leaf things that I've been using to spice foods and like well I don't know about anything like opal but these have been doing the trick pretty well for cooking what are they called ah uh, I want to say it was. I want to say it was like elder leaf or something. Leaves. Elder oak leaves. That must be it. Oh. Sorry, I'm terrible with names that I'm not familiar with. Ah oh, well. I can't seem to retain everything. That's why I got to keep a cookbook. Doing with the leaves. Ah uh, no. I want to offer. I want to. Offer the last two leaves of it that I have. Sure. Oh, it's fine. Kind gesture. I wish I had something to give you in return. Ah. Uh, just pay it forward. It'll be fine. <laughs> Aside from trade, um, we're here to sightsee as well. Uh, my lovely dear here. Never gotten to see the lovely forests to the south, especially the cherry blossoms. Blooming soon. Well, in a few months. So to speak. 
Nacho by the time we get down there. They'll be in full season. I always wanted to see them. Ancient Elven Roads. Does sound like quite the spectacular sight. For sure. Any of you been down south? I don't know. Have I? Sanctitude. Where the south I've been. Uh, you, you would have never been to the oh. Elven Lands, Aurora. Okay. Oh, no. I have not loved Valtor very much until recently. So, none of us. I hope you get to see it one day. I've been told it's life-changing. You should have been with us this last few months. Nice that. Just... Eye-opening experience. Care to share any stories? So I wouldn't. I'd love to hear some of your tales, perhaps. God. Gail us in your, in your Damn adventures. Damn it. I thought me and Dura had the big mouths. <laughs> well, I... Uh... Veering into a land that I gotta keep an eye on. <laughs> well, I, before I met these, uh, this bunch, I, uh was supposed to kill a bunch of um or convert them and then ended up uh leading them out and uh assault from people I used to know and I'm seeing a world I never even saw so saved an entire village by yourself well the village helped Mighty noble of you, sir. How is Aaron the... taking these two in? Not even paying attention. <laughs> She's just. I figured. It'd be a lot better place if we had more folks like you. <laughs> Up now. Surely the rest of you might have an interesting tale to tell. Oh. That one time that guy exploded? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're hey, eating. Yo, man. <laughs> hey, yo, man. You, you hear about... You've ever seen a guy explode right in front of you? <laughs> that was dope. He turned to red powder. Oh, we have been... <laughs> Yeah, no, we've had, we've had a few. Um, we've been researching the Red Moon, and it's it's taken us some interesting places. Drink some of his ale. Ooh, do tell. Hey, I'm interested in this moon. I've seen? Can't say that. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that. He freaking bit his tongue so it's, quick. Uh... It's it's been a while since I've seen it. Can you elaborate more about what it might be? Just every so often this just pops into the sky. That's oh, what we're trying to find out. So you've seen this before. You were you were you around Let's the last see. time? Let... Yes, let me see. Do you remember my brain wants to say he's he's conversing with his wife. I have no idea. I know I've seen it before. I believe it was 300. We've heard it was... Years. Oh. I believe it was 304 years ago. That's what she says, then that must be it. I choke on my food a little bit. Did I say something? 
Damn. Nothing wrong at all. We heard that. Yeah, we've we've heard a bit that there were plagues and famines the last time it showed up. Was was that the case in in your part of the world too? Now that you mention it, that does make a lot of sense. It seems to be on a cycle. Am I not? Am I crazy? It's not the first time I've seen it. Second. Just how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Thirteen times. Starting between Dura and Aurora and everybody. I've seen it thirteen times. I've seen it five. Out. Well, I could possibly understand five with elves having a longer lifespan. But oh. How have how have you seen it that many? T just how old are you? Back in his chair. I don't remember. I don't age. I have. So you're Is it my hand and call for more beer? You're perpetually <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Olan. I believe You're they perpetually have... locked I, I to believe... that age? What was it that they say? I look like I'm thirty five. Is is that correct? Good. I say you probably look more like a like like thirty two ish, like a little younger than Oh that. well aren't you a flatterer? Of course, when you're in the numbers of years that I am, I guess 32 doesn't make much more difference than 35. I suppose 35 is the new thousand. <laughs> Not longer. Does the did, does it appear on regular cycles, or is it a bit irregular how often it appears? Well, it seems to be exactly every 300 years. It's around for... Years, short as two and as long as four, and then it never I less than two years. I just figured it was some sort of grand celestial show that's only around every you know three hundred years, a comet oh. or a solar flare. A show. Uh, that's, that's one way to describe it as a show. 2,500 years? Well! Back as I can remember. Yes, yes, it has been exactly as it has been. Best of my knowledge. Oh, no. I'm about that. As far as what happened before that, I couldn't tell you. I wasn't uh, born yet. Did you ever get like a read from it? Like a kind of a feeling about... No. I can't say that I've ever felt strange about it or any sort of feel of presence. Cranky, but <clears throat> like punches him. <laughs> Boops him. <laughs> bah! Bah. Um what do you mean like BS dad vibes? <laughs> Cramp in my foot. I mean, he's, he's you, you, you'd have to believe him at face value, honestly. You might think you could suspect that his story might be BS, but you'd have no idea.
Oh well. Um, I'm sure you could. Uh, you two could regale us in some tales. I'm sure, Back there's been the some chair. sort of. Oh, sort of... I could tell a tale for every day of the week for the next. But I don't have time for that, unfortunately. I'm sure, you've met some interesting characters. Certainly. I've met every kind of character you could imagine. Smart, happy, sad, smart, stupid. They're all in there. Seriously, wonderful people in my lifetime. I dearly miss. Think. Forever. Trust me. Anyway, it's getting late for me and I should really get going. Find ourselves something to... I must say, I have thoroughly enjoyed your company and reminds me of old friends. Ah yes, please do. Uh, cross. Thank you. Yeah, don't be <laughs> don't be a stranger. Well, um, perhaps we will meet again someday down the road. Thought maybe somewhere else. Perhaps. Puts his coat back on. Indeed, I do. <sighs> At least I used to. Anyway, take care, everyone. Right. <laughs> Oof. <I'll wait. laughs> bye bye. I wait. Take their leave. Now I can minus out those last bit of the elder oak leaves. So. So, it's... Oh, who left? Baron, no! Oh, no! He's been captured. Uh, he's been put in the Shadow Realm. Uh-oh. Oh, he's, he's back! back. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Play it. So, through your... Through your talks and tales with the... I've lost track of time, and it's quite late, and mm -hmm. tablets start. Ring-a-ding-ding, <laughs> 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 ring-a-ding-ding. <laughs> oh, everyone but me would know. Right, I don't have one. I have a tablet, and uh, what was it again? We'll get it. Oh. Just had a close call. Might need to disappear. Don't know yet. No yet. Are you relaying this to? Yeah, like... I'll re relay this to you. I'm just gonna like do the whole like putting my hands on my face, like elbows on table, like. Well, <sighs> close call. Close call is better than than getting caught. Well, I suppose, but. I'd rather not have to attempt to s try and bail our friend out of an execution. Figure it out, it'll be fine. Not surprised about anything anymore, Aurora. <laughs> 500 years? Must mer merchant Here. business must be really boring after that. I'll send a, a message back. Need any help. Reply, Baron. Uh, okay. Oh, one second, actually. I'm trying to get into the tail top. So, we made it canon that, like, to clear the tablets, it's an etch-a-sketch. Gotta shake it. 
Yeah. Dope. Uh, I'll just reply, appreciate it. I believe you. Do you, you think he was bullshitting? Being well, a traitor think... after a hundred years. Well, I don't think he had any reason to lie to us. Me personally? No. I don't know if the information he gave us is important enough for it to matter either way. From what I, what I've seen over the last I mean, few weeks. But I'm just saying is is he hasn't he hasn't other than his age, hasn't told us anything that contradicts um I'm not telling him my life story for sure. Um although I guess that would be pretty boring. Um well, I'd like to keep the chatter on the... He's not 4,500 years old. 40's 4,500 years old. He's not telling us the correct information. There's... Dionys... possible that we don't know about. Dionys did warn us on being sparing with information about the moon. Oh, did he? Did he? I don't know. I can't remember. No. I don't remember. I'm doubting Obviously, myself. Obviously, I have not been doing that, so I don't know. Probably. I mean, I, I'm really realizing that gets you into trouble fast. Yes. But Amongst it's out things. there. Why aren't people talking about it all the time? Well, probably because it hasn't been out long enough to show its further effects. It's an extra moon that feels creepy and evil. <laughs> And all the gods oh, I completely, are gone. Oh, I completely agree. Like, that's... Yeah. And this guy seems to, he seems to have not noticed anything. Multiple times. He did see periods in which it normally lasts, though. Right. Um, as far as, like what we've experienced in the city and just everything up to this point. It's like no one seems to be too worried about the moon. The various faiths are worried that they've lost connection with their deities. And uh, we meet these interesting individuals. Tailed, to say the least. And, well, frankly, the only thing I seem to be drawing a bit of a, put bluntly, bullshit from is that this King's Sunstone has no significance other than sentimental. for that more? Should we just let Viren take care of it? Should I message that to him? Have you responded, Viren? Yeah, I did. I said appreciated. Yeah, he said he said appreciated. Okay. And I'm just asking the group. I'm like, should we ask Viren about that? How the Sunstone thing is going? I suppose you could ask him. Things are I'll send him the, the message. <sighs> oh, sorry. Oh. Bork, bork. <laughs> Doge. Bring back the old Doge memes. Yes. Two hundred. I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, my my husband came home and they forgot he existed. Um, but uh, anyhow, <laughs> um, some long hours. They, we were we were, we were gone this weekend and they're traumatized. Um, but <laughs> actually, no, that's just them. Every single time someone comes home. Um, anyhow, so I I'm gonna type 
in the or I'm gonna write on the slate, um find the sunstone yet? Uh I'll reply Actually no, I'm just not gonna reply. Just not gonna reply. <laughs> I think I missed that last bit. Says he's not gonna reply. Okay. Uh, Dura. Yes. You might want to let him know to be on the. I'm sure it's not going to affect him since Aaron is with us. Mm-hmm. But be on the lookout for a uh, shady cloaked figure following you around. All right. So I will. I will relay that. I will say. By the way. Shady cloaked figure is following us. Um, probably looking for Aaron. But I'll I'll leave it at that. So it's it's like past midnight at this point. If if Viren's done with. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And we have furniture. To Tavern keepers like, man, well, y'all just fucking. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> hey, y'all gotta move those bids. Do it now. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, so, Aaron, I do believe it's time to turn in. I've got two in my room, or two beds. Do we want to move one more into my room? I suppose we can do that. And then... I don't know why three rooms made sense to me, but it did at the time. Okay, so yeah, then we can have Aurora in a room, and then a room with two beds in it. Okay. Mm-hmm. That wouldn't, wouldn't take you too much effort to do that. Okay. Beds. Does Aurora want an extra bed for her uh, Echo? <laughs> no, the Echo sleeps with her. Um. So you are spare rooms. Aurora's staying in one room. And there's the room Aaron will be in, and who's in that room, and who's going to be in the other room? I will be wherever Aaron is. Okay. I can be in Aaron's room as well. And will be by actually he'll be by himself because Varen's not here. Aw. <laughs> and I'll, Bye, I'll, 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 I'll make sure to wake me up if uh, either of you need to crash. Okay. No, definitely. Right. Uh, is there a? I, you said there's windows in these rooms. Yes, in Aaron's room there are two windows. Are there blinds or curtains? Lines. I want to close them. Um, what's Erin doing? She's sitting on a bed, or is she sitting in a chair? Or... Actually, going to sleep. Oh. Okay. Well, Dara. Uh, yeah. How do you want to handle this? Shall we basically take it in shifts? That's fine by me. Uh, I'll take first, then. All right. Wake you, wake you up once I'm done. Everyone going to bed except for Talia, then? Yes. All right. Hi. Perception check. I saw that coming. <laughs> After Discord wants to lag itself out. Ah, uh, poop. Okay. Where are you sitting? So let me let me tr- let me give you a layout of the room. Uh huh. So it's it's a rectangular room, and the two uh-huh. beds are. Parallel to each other. 
short side. Okay. Chair on opposite of that, between the chair and the door, or the chair and the bed is the door. So if you were to walk in the room, bed on the left side, chair on the right, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the opposite corner you'd have the other bed. And then, and the then windows there's are a like window on the long between side. the beds, and then there's a window at the foot of the far bed. Okay, so we're like in a corner room. Yes. Okay, I got you. Uh, I want to take the chair quietly so as to not disturb those who are sleeping in the room. Move it to uh, where I can see both windows. It is already in a position where you can see both windows. That's what I figured as such, so yeah. Just kind of... Is there a rocking chair? Damn. Padded chair. Oh. You hear... Thump. Anything after the thump, or just that singular thump? I'm going to immediately regret this. I want to... So, there's a window between the two beds where Aaron and Dura are sleeping, yes? I would like to peek out the blinds at that window. Okay. I swear to God, if you jump scare Roll perception. Roll perception. Here the other window slide open. Well, I have not doffed my armor, so I still have my blades and armor. I'm gonna, like, grab at one of my blades, and since I'm still over by, like, where Dura and Aaron are, I'm going to, like, kind of gently shake Dura awake. Still looking at the window. I, I wake up, um... I'm like, what's going on? I'm gonna like point towards the window, the other All window. Right. Right. I'll I'll sit up and uh, look at the window. Oh. Hear the sound of scrape. You know the sound if you like twist your foot on uh, oh yeah yeah like. yeah you hear yeah. that just outside the window there, was there did i ever notice a balcony to this fucking tavern or a secondary roof awning balcony but there is a roof Do I notice? I hear the noise. Do I notice that the window is slid open, or is it like behind the blinds? Curtains? Blinds are closed. Yeah, so I don't know. I just, I just hear the noise. So I, I look at Talia with kind of a, like, like trying to. I look at Talia to see kind of like a like what's going on. Not like. Spur to her. Not alone. Clearly. Try and stay as close to Aaron as possible. I'm going to see who our new friend is. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I'll I'll move to stand by Aaron's bed. Um, now, like, approach. And yeah, just keep an eye out. I'm going to carefully approach the uh, slid open window. And this time I've got one of my swords drawn. I would like to open the blinds. 
Make a deck saving throw. Fuck! I knew it. <laughs> Why is it gotta be dex? Oh no. <laughs> A kunai comes flying in through the window. A fucking kunai! Some Naruto shit. Scraping you across the neck. Cutting you. Not. Nah, it doesn't matter. I don't bleed it, it, anyways. And it, it impels itself upon the door. Take. <sighs> Damage. Is that a kunai? If you glance at the door, Dura, you'll notice that the door starts glowing briefly. What color? Alright. I don't. Flashes blue like... and then goes back to normal. Son of a Stay bitch. You staying in front of that window? Talia, the door is blue. I'm not taking <laughs> my eyes off that window. Oh, well, I can't take my eyes off of. Oh. How close to the window would you say you are? Close enough to have opened the fucking blinds. Make a deck saving throw. Oh, for fuck's sake. Nine. This one goes across your leg and impales the door. I assume same thing happens to the door. Yep, and you take four damage. Dura? Yeah? Um... You have your, that little tablet, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll uh, Alert send a message others. that says, uh, under let attack. Him, let him know we have a visitor. But be mindful of the door. Don't think. Okay, it says under attack, door blue. <laughs> cool. I love the shorthand. Okay. Are you staying where you're staying? God damn it, now I regret not having... Fucking... Would have heard a thump thump, Aurora. Yeah. Could have really been Is anything. That a door? Does that do our do our? But I'm seeing like. Yep. Definitely, it would have been more of an unusual sound. Up, looked at your thing. If it's enough to look at my tablet, I'll also. Give me a second. Stay put. Hold on. Hold on. Just want to make sure I can do something. And that's not going to help. Oh, if anyone's going to take these hits, I'm going to take these hits. I just got a hot Other minute. Other than take the hits. I just got a hot minute before I'm going down. Some pesky kunai. I want to close the window. I know it's going to be a moot point, but I'm still going to try and close the window. You got to close the window. Uh huh. A pair, of, a pair of boots come crashing through it and into your chest. Oh, you son of a bitch. Kicking you back into the door. Listen here. Definitely hear, hear the window shatter. It's loud enough for everyone to Bro, fucking hear it in the whole tower. There's a window in my room. Yes. My room. If I run to the window in my room, can I see anyone hanging into their room? No. Start running. Yeah, you can. Okay, then I'm gonna try running towards the door. They're they're at the front of their door. I'm knocked on my ass. 
said you were knocked on your ass. Knocked into the door. Can Stand I see the, the figure now? Yeah, he's standing there. But it I wanna... cloaked. Sassany looking. I want to cast command on him. I believe it is a... Wisdom? Is it a wisdom saving throw? Where is it? Yeah, wisdom save. DC 15. 15. Well, rip. Not expecting the girl to be so gone. Well, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Resist, you will die. Well, I... I don't think you're man enough. The door? <laughs> Locked, Aurora. I'm on the door, right? Mm -hmm. I'm leaning, like, against it. Do these doors swing out or in? In? So when I looked out the window that at first, I saw that the window was crashed in, though, correct? Okay. Like all of this. Parallel windows. Oh, I mean, at this point, I would have drawn my other blade can, and fucking be charging them. We can try to break it down. Spartan kicked okay, the roll, door. Roll to attack. And then I'm going to, like, yell to Dura as I'm charging and get Aaron out of here. I'm going to just grab Aaron and uh, get her out yeah, the door. Maybe both Spartan kicked the door. Oh, that would work. Spartan kicked the door. Oh. Roll to attack, he says. All the force you could muster, the door does not budge. I'm going to unlock the, like I say, I have Aaron, and I'm going to unlock the door, and, uh, leave. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, that's one attack. Imbly dodges your attack, sidesteps it. Better than that. A lot of things here. Angry door yeah. smashers, angry door smashers, and combat. Oh my chungus! <laughs> my offhand misses. Who trained you how to fight? So the door is locked. Okay. Oh, you see those kunai there, and I think they have a special effect on that door. Oh, so I've got Aaron, and there's nothing. I okay. So I'm just gonna door. hold on to her. We're gonna we're gonna take this in rounds. Okay. okay. So. Um. Dassin will strike back at Talia. Done die? Yeah, 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 that's a miss. Do it. Does a twenty hit? Does.
5 damage. And... Poison! Yes. Poison! Poisonous mark. May take an action. Help. <laughs> Pull some eye to him. <laughs> the assassin or Tatalia? The assassin. Within thirty feet. I'd okay, say like, these no, rooms that's... can't possibly be that big. <laughs> right. And I'm I'm more like am I if I'm within like arm's reach, but it sounds like I'm I'm not that far. Not that you're not that close. You're not I'm not that close. Alright. Um how close am I to Talia then? Uh, maybe five, ten feet. How much damage do you have, Talia? I am bloodied. You are bloodied, but you're not bleeding, so that's all good. He's under yeah, half. Yeah, he's, he's under half. You're <laughs> half health. All right. Um, I am going to um cast cure wounds on Talia. Let's do. Wait, that's not the right thing. I can't remember. I was saying, you just roll healing. That's a lot. That's you a hit. lot. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. hit me. <laughs> <laughs> With Eight. healing. Critically hit your heal spell. <laughs> All right. So, and then and as a bonus action, I'm going to cast my uh, spiritual weapon. Oh. Because I'm figuring that sacred flame is not the way to go right okay. now. Now I have to ask you a very important question. Yes? Does, is spiritual weapon considered a divine ability? Like... No. No. Does not have the divine tag. Let me see... I'm not asking oh, if wait, it's radiant. Right, right, right. Uh, I actually don't know on that front. Because there's other classes that can learn it. It is a second level I'm evocation. Not... It is not. See that here. Okay. And it deals force damage. Okay. Carry on. All right. Swing, better, better. All Swing right. with that sickle. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where I'm at. All right. So I heal for eight. Oop. Okay, healing. Okay, 14. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Still make your weapon, right? Right, my weapon's still out. I have to get it. It got booped too. Ah, uh, this man's. <laughs> So that was your action for the turn. Action for the turn. Fill a hand, take an action. Um, I am going to step to the side and I'm going to spit my acid breath on the wall. <laughs> We're gonna have clever, to owe this actually, poor tavern. Incredibly clever. Um all the acid starts burning its way through the wall. Hey, it looks like it would take another turn before it gets through. Break through the wall. Yeah, I'm just going to start. I mean, not that I can do it this turn, but I'll just start punching at the opening. Okay. Punch, punch, punch. <laughs> <coughs> Release your inner Bruce Lee. Your, your, your inner uh, Ip Man. Okay, so Roar. You can do this. Would that be your turn, though? You basically hang your head out the window, pop it on the roof. It goes across the roof and down into the other room. Clever. Not the roof. Yeah, 
have to see where it's going, right? Beth, do you need line of sight? No? Broken. You need to see where you summon it. Yeah, so you'd have to hang your head out the window. Pop it in the other room. Clarify. <clears throat> I mean, yes, you can do that. However you want to handle it. So, Thor is doing things. Attack, then. Is Aaron not doing anything, just kind of scared? Terrified. In fact, I mean, you, right. haven't even, you haven't even really checked on him, so... Um... Kinda busy. Really? That's a miss. Uh, that's first attack. Wait, Second why are you attack. attacking? I was talking to Aurora. Oh! Pardon that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do apologize, Zell. That's fine. It's back? Died. That is a valid point. Two windows in this room. The window he came through is on the far side, not the one you could see through. Go into MS Paint and draw y'all pictures. <laughs> yeah? If you're trying to get flanking, you'd have it either way. Oh. Good get job. that flank. It's... Hoggers. Tim very hot. Can he dodge? Wizards. Oh, well, we've been doing that wrong for how many sessions? Doing what wrong? Oh. Well, now you know. Or is All knowledge right. is power. Knowledge is power. Oh, yeah, you hit him. Oh. Leave it your action again, Talia. All right, well, I missed my first attack, clearly. Second attack. Oh, my chungus. The great defender. Well, I don't see you taking me out any day soon. <laughs> Have a healer. Okay, he's gonna look at Dura. Twenty-one. That hits. Okay. 
damage. Okay. Owie. Two poison. Okay. I feel woozy. Uh oh. Uh oh. I might know what's on the. It's a matter of time. Um. Make endurance action. Okay, my action. Shoot. going to uh, cast Guiding Bolt at him. Yay. Let me find the right spot. <clears throat> You're 24. Oh, Radiant. Um, let me see. I That's believe a hit, it by is. the way. Yeah, radiant damage. Okay, roll damage. Alright, and that is... Okay, 13. Back him with that radiant bolt. And then also I'm gonna follow up with my spiritual weapon. So Smack. as you as you hit him with a radiant bolt. Mm-hmm. It you can see it clearly impacts him and deals damage. Mm-hmm. But it also seems to, he also seems to shrug it off. Ooh. Oh. Your gods have no power here. Well that's I know what I'm using my spell slots for. <laughs> yeah, here, let me just smack him uselessly with my smite. All when right. I do hit. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try shoot spiritual weapon, what's that? Force damage. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try spiritual weapon again. Smack him. Alright. Fourteen. Okay. Pull a hand. Can I uh, bust the rest of the way through and get to make an attack, or is that yes. too much? All right. Air a hole will... through the wall and charge into the room. Yep. Right, so who's gonna pay for that? Don't care at this point. I'll pay for I'll it. I'll fucking pay for it. <laughs> Go at him with the uppercut. That sweet chin music. Be a kick. Ooh. Not good. That's a miss. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to um. I'm going to use my extra attack. Alright. Punch him hard. Bro, what are these rolls? <laughs> my God. Um, yeah, okay. I swing wildly. <laughs> Man, Floria blows. Get him. Give him nose. Um. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think I should get the Floria blows after that. <laughs> You're more than welcome to try. <laughs> more attacks is more attacks, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. Stick with that, though. Shoot. 
all our attacks should have advantage at this point, right? Huh? About the, actually, that is a good point, Hulahan. You would have had advantage on that attack. Why is that? Because Guiding Bolt. Oh, okay. So, one miss. <laughs> the next attack roll. Would this be my next attack? Yeah, the first attack you made would have had an advantage roll. Alright, so this is just one regular attack. Yeah, right, just one regular. Regular attack. Alright, 15? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I guess I'm just gonna flurry of blows for the hell of it to get it. Okay. This is ridiculous. Bro, we are looking like the most inept fucking adventurers right now. 16. That one hits. Jesus Boys, we've Christ. pinpointed his AC. 16. All right, 10 damage. I don't, so I'm just flailing wildly and uh, huh? managed to connect with one of these. That is bludgeoning damage. First turn. I know what I'm fucking doing next turn. <laughs> Gotta roll first. Miss. Hit. Wait, is she getting the flanking off of me? Getting it off of something. Because the echo doesn't provide flanking. Which places with it? Oh! <laughs> that means I get flanking now, right? Sure. Oh! Bye! Back. Hand to you, Talia, and just... Come at me. Hand motion. Take your two. Me? Your action. Swing wildly. Yeah, no, we're gonna use my bonus action to use my vow of. Yeah. I swear I'm gonna fucking hit this man, and he ain't gonna touch Aaron. Let's, By my will. Let's let's roll. Come on. So, for the next minute, I have advantage on all attacks against him. What you got? Yeah? Oh, that is... That is not a command. Well, the second well, one hit. That's... No, that's with advantage on the first attack. Yeah. But uh, technically, it's an 18 because of flanking. So, uh, and that is a that was a green flame blade, by the way. It's better for me to attack with a cantrip since I still don't have extra attack. So, numbers. Yeah, I know, I know. D8 plus four plus D6. Pooya. Take that 14 damage, and uh, four of which is fire. I'm sorry, not four. Uh, eight of which is fire. Six is uh, is slashing. Okay. That's my turn. I already used my bonus action for Val. Digs into one of his pockets. It's getting a little crowded in here. <laughs> Smoke bomb on the floor. Yeah? Fills with a choking black smoke that burns your nostrils and your throat. <laughs> Bill.
visibility is zero. So, you may not breathe, but you still can't see. <laughs> I want everyone to roll perception. No, for fuck's sake, <laughs> we can't see! There, there's my shite fucking nine. If you like, I can tell you that it's hearing based. That doesn't help me. Nineteen. I don't think. I have to ask you a question. Sure. <laughs> Are you holding, Aaron? Yes. You're going to feel something try to tear her away from you. Okay. Um. Uh, Durham, the mama bear is about to be pissed. Can I, uh, can I feel it, like, get my hands on it? The thing in question? That's trying to tear, yeah. Yes. Alright. I am going with uh let's see here inflict wounds oh three oh that's a nasty spell too yeah eleven fuck all right does it to hit half does it, does inflict wounds even have it to hit? Does it? Oh, let me see. It says plus seven. But I'll take it. I'll take it like I touch him. Yeah, That's make fine. a melee spell attack, yeah. Is it still need half damage? It's not. Uh. I need you to make a strength check. Okay. Oof. Um. Can I cast guidance on myself? Does that work? All right, sure I'm gonna do can. that. So that gives me. What a D4 on your I next think check. So. Yep. How do I type that out, or just do them separately? Uh, you would put, like, whatever the normal roll is, and just put plus d4. Oh, it helps if I do the r. It might. Ah. 14. Not bad. The hidden figure tugs away, but to no avail. A gift for all of you. Your sounded like a Hearthstone you, card. You hear another fluff. Fluff. Smoke as more gas fills the room. And how is no one else hearing this? I want to be yelling, like, as loud as possible. Like, <laughs> Oi! Bartender! Get the guards! I'm ready to battle! I thought Michael was doing <laughs> elsewhere. It's Barkeeper <laughs> fucking Bob! 
Alright. No, Mike, Michael stayed elsewhere. Can I get through the hole in the wall? Uh, so yeah, it is your action. You're gonna have to... You, you'd have some general idea of the layout of the room. Mm-hmm. See? But I, I, I saw Hulahan, so I know that's there, right? Yes, you know the hole is there. Okay. And I'll need a con saving throw. All right. Um, find your way to the hole and into the hallway. Mm-hmm. Air is a little bit clearer. Uh, you see the figure at the end of the hall. Where's this bartender at, man? Hey, maybe he's dead. Oh, you were in the. We were in the library. We didn't tell you. <laughs> Keep an eye on Aaron. What? Oh no, I was, I was referring to Aurora. Uh -huh. I have an action, so. Okay, yeah, so I have an action. God, if you have any CC. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's take it flames. We're just done with all of this. Within 30 feet. Within 30 feet? Yeah, he's within 30 feet. All right. All right. Oh wait, and that's a that's a for him a deck saving throw of fifteen. Fifteen. Oh. Okay. And I just. <clears throat> a what? Radiant or non-radiant? It's, I want to say, oh, shoot, I'm wondering, it's radiant, isn't it? I'm wondering why you rolled 2d20. Because oh. I have 2d20 now? Oh, no, oh, shoot, no, I have 2d8. Damn it, sorry. I was like, hey. Surprisingly rolled within the 2d8 parameters. <laughs> yeah, like, the 2d8 parameters were I'm still like, met. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> but, but I'm just like, I'm... why the 2d20? Huh? <laughs> All right. Actually, oh. I rolled higher! <laughs> There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, so, um... Yeah, like before, it kind of washes over him and he brushes off the attack. Okay. Same tricks, so I'm going to keep... Wait, is, this is a different guy or the same guy? Same in the guy. Hallway? Same guy. Okay. Thanks to Collector. That is what I'm going to do. Save yourself. Who else is in the hallway? Not a soul. Lillahan. Can I uh, find my way into the hallway? She meet your echo. Who? Yeah, you can find your way. I be able to get up to that to the dude at all or the bad person close <laughs> figure echo is outside the room can do that on your turn, couldn't you? Oof. Okay, so you can get halfway down the hallway. Okay. 
need that con saving throw, Dura, by the way. Okay. Echo is halfway down the hallway, halfway between you, halfway between Dura and the assassin. Sixteen. Yes. But you can tell that there is a poison affecting your body. Okay. Is it something like if I healed myself that would take care you of it? You need to seek an antidote. Like, not a All specific right. antidote, but you will need an antidote. Okay. Say so if it was the normal poison condition, lesser restoration would do it. Don't, Do you know? I don't have it ready. But it's, Dur you know, I could have it ready for Dura tomorrow, right? <laughs> Should have bought the bottle. Anyway, uh, pull a hand. Um, well, I... So you stumble yeah, your I way into the hallway, and you'll say you have 20 minutes. Yeah. Are between me and the dude? Or me and the... It's 30, so you'd have to charge or, uh, dash. Does Dura... Oh wait, I have it prepared. Do, do, yeah, I did do have I, that one. Okay. Sorry. Do I, I was gonna ask if, visu if I visually saw, could tell Dura was suffering from poison or not. Or not but... He does not look healthy. Okay. Well, I'm while I'm charging past with pulling out my uh, club, I'm going to kind of like and yell at like. Not looking so hot. Can, can. can you take her and run? Are we? Because are are we able to get out from the other way of the the hallway? Walking the way out. Okay. Yeah. Well, if I if I Where charge if I if I charge him, I could hit him, right? Yeah. Just just get him. Hit him hard. <clears throat> but you just say yes. Hit. 10 damage, and I'm also going to apply a stunning strike to that. Con save? Can say, uh, yeah, can saving throw. DC 13. I'm gonna get this stuff. On saving throw, you say. Is there? Oh, he's stunned. No. That man's a stun. I know what I'm doing. He's incapacitated. Can I use my second? Can I use my second attack to uh, just beat him again with the? Just tackle the man. Tie him up. He's oh. unconscious. Okay. You know what stun is, right? Uh, yeah, cat. Stun doesn't make you. Does it? it a stunned you creature incapac is incapacitated. Really? What the wiki says, yes. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Tie this fool. Right, yep. I'll start tying him up. And, uh... Yes, Dura, Dura, are you okay? Uh, I think so. Let me, let me just real quick. I'm gonna... Cast lesser, lesser I have an I have two antitoxins, by the way. As you cast the spell, you can sort of feel a, a heaviness leaving you. Tali and Aurora, on the other hand, Aurora doesn't. Cool hand, are you immune to poison? I don't think so. No, I'm acid. Oh acid. shoot! I didn't know other people were poisoned. That's right. That's right. Tali and Dehulahan will still need a. Uh, um, can I can 
Overlord. Would you consider this a type of disease? Well, shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to see if nine. I could bullshit my way with divine health. <laughs> Fine, con save, whatever. I got a nine on my con save. Fail. Affected by slowed, and you take 1d6 poison damage, and is it at this point, which is really Also fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, Callahan, you probably round, realize, oh, I'm shit, I'm poisoned. As soon as I get a chance, I'm going to drink one of my antitoxins. Talia is still poisoned. Yep. Can you, uh, can you, can you blow the air? Like, are you, can you act like a giant windmill or a fan? <laughs> air out of there? Oh, that'd be great. Cast gust. And I probably want to, wouldn't want to leave the uh, masked figures side for like a couple. Oh, of you feet. tie him up. You can do them. How many questions do we want to ask him? Uh, really, I think we should just I... kill him on the spot. I was gonna say we don't. I don't think he needs to be alive to ask him a few questions. Uh, could someone? But maybe we I'm take feeling... the poison first. I'm feeling really heavy. All right. Did you say you had antitoxin, Luhan? Yes. Where is that? I'll pull it out and add it to whoever needs it. Me. Hey. Is Aaron affected by anything? He seems okay. Okay. About to say, I'll drink the antitoxin that Hulahan gave me, and then I'll like kneel down next to Aaron and like put a hand on top of her head. You okay? All right. Well, he's tied up. I think I'm gonna go get the guards. You hear him. Oh look, the little rat is alive. <laughs> Surprised me. Do you wanna sit on him? What? Tied up. <coughs> I mean, you probably weigh what? Five pounds, nothing? <laughs> made of air. <laughs> You're made of air. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not? Arjunasi made of their element. Hey, 100, pound, 100 pounds of air weight is still 100 pounds. I mean... You're right! <laughs> okay, so you're sitting on him. Gonna like tell us something. Does it? One of the many what? Coming. Many what? I kind of like use my sword to kind of like lift his chin up. To my whom? duty to track down seen projects. Is 
So do we take out the first five without knowing it? What? Nothing. <laughs> I thought he said I was six of 15, and I asked if we took out the first five without knowing it. Did he say six of 15 or six 15? Six of 15. Okay. Okay. Some of them. Can't tell you. I'm sure we can coerce some of those answers out of you. No, but I do have a sharp sword. Check his pockets, and aside from finding more kunai and various vials of poison and poison, okay idea what they are or what they do other than the look we're who reasonable work for? we're reasonable huh? here who do you work for can't answer that We're a reasonable bunch. I'm sure you could tell us. Test it on it. Why? Back to the rightful master. That is the orders I will. When were you given those orders? Three days ago. Travel fast. Who's her master? Cannot or say. supposed. Cannot say. That How did is you a get question word? I refuse to answer. Three days refuse ago. Refuse to answer. So you do know. Our contacts tipped him off. Seen the missing girl. Do you know which contacts? Someone from Risco. I swear to God. My master and I operate out of Risk. Oh. Typically on the road. Fantastic. Silver hearth. I am one of 50. If I do not return with the girl, send more. Unless we take care of all 15. You only got a little bit of number, man. Given your skills in this battle, handle two of us. Two does not succeed. I want to look over at Dura and motion mm -hmm. with my hand above, like, put my hand over my eyes type of deal. I will uh, cover Aaron's eyes. I want to stab my sword through this man's chest. Chest? Well, okay. Kill him. Nope. I'm going to try and avoid vitals. Yeah. I hope so. Fourteen? Have him through the chest. <laughs> Pop some blood. Oh no! Shoot. That's <laughs> how you want it to end. No, not yet. Die like a dog. Oh. 
cracking sound with in his mouth. Bites down on something hard. I want to quick. I want to quickly like grab his throat, keep him from swallowing. Are you gonna have to squeeze pretty damn hard? I'll That's fucking try. With dad. I have speak with that. <laughs> That's fucking cool. I have speak with that. I'll squeeze. Okay. The white foam starts pouring out of his mouth. <laughs> Spit it out. What am I gonna do with you? I swear to God. The one time I don't take lesser restoration. Slumps over. <laughs> Just let go of his throat and let his head hit the wooden floor. Cyanide killer, right? Yeah. Suicide fucking cyanide. <sighs> Are we done with him? He's dead. Cowards yeah, but I have to speak with out. dead. I could bring him back, and we could ask him questions or just taunt him. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> so is the, you're lawful good, aren't you? Neutral. Okay. I'm okay with this. <laughs> so uh are we done with them i mean I, I if we're done we're done but if we had anything else i want to um hulahan aurora do you think yep, we'd be I able can. to t oh Session check. Five questions, ten minutes. But he might not be helpful. But, you know. Alright. Mm. So I will, uh... I guess, yeah, cast speak with dead on him in the hallway one. <laughs> Why not? I want to okay. go downstairs and, like, outside and try and find a guard. Okay. Questions? That should, that should give him ample time to ask questions. By you, probably. What else? Do you want to know where he would... <laughs> so the way the spell works is... Uh, um, semblance of life and intelligence to a corpse of your choice within range, allowing answer the questions you pose. Corpse must still have a mouth and can't be undead. Spell fails. Corpse is hard. Yeah. Um, I can ask up to... We can ask up to five questions... Corpse only knows what it knew in life, including the languages it knew. Answers are usually brief, cryptic, or repetitive, and the corpse is under no compulsion to offer a truthful answer if you are hostile to it or it recognizes you as an enemy. Oh. The well. spell doesn't return the creature's soul to its body, only its animated spirit. Thus, the soul corpse can't learn, learn new information. And can't huh. speculate about Definitely future Definitely think events. it would recognize you as an enemy. Right. You think? Right. Ow. My knee. Just to answer. Yeah. It can literally give you any answer it wants to. Okay. 
Echo looks just like you. that matters <laughs> man you trying some like me level bullshit here <laughs> where did you come from master's care Long before they send someone else. I was to return within three days. Should I? Will they be looking for us here, in uh, this town? Um, Alaka! Yeah, that's the name. <laughs> Find you here, they will see. I think we have one more. Anyone else have any questions? Two more. Oh, even better. How long would it take for them to reach us? Oh. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I see. So now we have two more. Yes, we already asked about his master. stronger augmented for a moment I don't think we asked About specifically. Yourself. It mentioned that she was. Should we ask why she? Why is she so important? A project to take back to master. Um, collector duty is to track down a missing project. Ooh, ooh, I know. Do you know how Aaron got away? This one is more capable.
sixth question. <laughs> At this point, it would just disappear, wouldn't it? He just slumps over. Uh -huh. Have I found a guard? Sure. I feel like we're not Evening, citizen. coming out of this one super... We might have to get Viren to bear. <laughs> Do I? We might... we I'll, have to get I'll Viren pay for the wall. I'll out. pay for the damn wall. <laughs> we'll be oh. fine. I think the circumstances... I think, I think we... we'll be fine. Do we need to maybe, like... <laughs> <laughs> the bartender. All right. So, what the guard approached me, or what, what's going on here? Said you were looking for a guard, so I'm assuming you found. Yep, I walked up to him. Greetings. Yes, greetings. Um, I'm gonna like mo like point my thumb back towards the tavern, or direction of the tavern. Uh huh. Um. We had a bit of an issue with an intruder. Um, we dispatched him, but um, uh, I'd rather not leave the body there. <laughs> Don't know what the protocol is. I'll ask you to lead the way. I'll lead him back up to uh, where it is. Back to the tavern? Yep. And one of you said you were checking on the bartender? And asking if we needed to check for the bartender. Oh. But I've, I've got a... Uh... Aaron. Me that, that I'll go do it. Yeah, I'll go check on the bartender after I ask that. <clears throat> Stairs as Tali is leading two guardsmen inside. Small amount of acid dripping through the floor. Christ. Oh. Guards kind of look like. We may have had. On the bartender in the back room, splayed out. He's passed out. <laughs> we may have had a bit of collateral damage. Alive. Check. He, he is breathing. He's just out. Let's just say he's not waking up anytime. Uh. But you said he's on a cot, so I don't really have to move him. There's. Is Aurora still sitting on this? Fucking assassin. Okay. Come to the body. <laughs> Cloak. Yes, yes, he is. Alright, I'm gonna need witnesses. I'm gonna need to see. Saw this intruder. Uh. I did? All of us did, really. All of us. The other guard starts taking down notes. Right. He kind of flops the body back. Got it. Is there anything n weird about the body itself? Mine weird. Okay, for even a fantasy world, the fa anything that would strike as an oddity to me at least wearing a lot of clothing uh -huh. and 
sends the slits right there. I see. He is wearing a okay. badge, though. A badge! Oh! <laughs> what, is the, what is on the badge? Please enlighten me. Never seen before. What does it look like? Make me grab the image. Man, Edgar's like super behaved right now. Resources. Tiny badge is tiny. Eh. Interesting. Interesting. The cards look him over. Chest wound. Badge. So gonna be all right. Um, well, I, I think we'll be see fine. here. Not stopping you. Matter of fact, the guards just leave. Oh. What the body? Body. The inn. They just left. Walking off. What? Never here, folks. Sketch. Yeah, I know this is really sketchy. Yeah, that's weird. <clears throat> so they left the body. They I left the end. They're oh, gone. They're gone. And I'm out of third level spells, so we can't kill them. Yeah. <laughs> <Christ>. well, <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, is this what it's come down to? We're just gonna kill everyone? Kill first, <laughs> interrogate later. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Gone. <laughs> oh, he's not answering okay. that question. Alright. So, do we want to give them a heads up that they have a we have a week? <laughs> you know, I think uh, first off, I'm gonna is is like the the air stuff dissipated from my room. There now, smoke, it'll take a while. I guess. Okay, because I'm like wearing my pajamas. <laughs> I'm assuming everyone but Talia <laughs> I... is. I say I was at the ready because <laughs> I was on guard. 
Actually, there's a giant hole in your room from acid burns. All right, but I kind of want to get my stuff out of it. I'm sure if you give it a moment, it'll clear out. Okay. You have extra um, room space. So right, right do we now. Finish the night off here, in one of these rooms. Like the ones that don't have acid and gases and stuff. Honestly, just give me a corner to lean in. I'll be fine. Yeah. I, I don't have patience for Mark right now. We just need to, like, figure this out. Don't take your eyes off the girl, of course. Uh, every, right. Every, everyone's in the hallway right now, right? Right. Yeah. These two blue lights. Should we burn the body? Oh, fun. All right. <laughs> Well, I'm sure me and Durr are used to this by now. Burn? Uh-huh. You're seeing that too, Aurora? This isn't new to you guys? That's one way to dispatch of a body, I suppose. That's, uh... That's Yaren. Yaren! Hey! <laughs> Timing! Oh! Welcome to our little... But we all talked Heart. to Garen. Remember how he ruined our party? You have seen this light before. <clears throat> but I was Welcome. drunk. I told you about the end of the world. Yeah. Glad of you to join <laughs> us at this wonderful time, Garen. Okay. Please excuse my sarcastic, sarcastic the, uh, tone. Get for a second. And Convenient. All right, that's running out of time. Oh. Stalled. Well, clearly, at least some of the guards are in on something in this city. Or they're scared of something. Or they're scared of something, and are being strong-armed. Bought and paid for, or too silent to say anything. <sighs> All I do know is, I do not feel safe being in this city currently. Finish up your business and wait. I don't think we're equipped to deal with two or more of these assassins. Or collectors, as they call themselves. What do we send to Varen? Oh, yeah. He's probably fucking conked out at this point. We don't have a week anymore. Right. Right. Let's see. We could say just had a close call. Might need to disappear. Don't know yet. <laughs> I, I, I look over to I look over Aaron. Um, You can't just pop in and uh, give him a heads up, can you? What? What? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm asking you, <laughs> if like, she's just popping in to say, visit us. I really don't know. <laughs> Decorum with a god. Too. What? <laughs> it doesn't hurt to ask. Hulahan wouldn't know it would be wrong. Silence as a go at yourself. I'm sure he's asleep. Well, what course of action do we take now? We can't get to 
into Ravon without the king's writ. We can't get the king's writ without finding his sunstone. We find the sunstone. The guards seem to be in on something. Mm -hmm. Shall task with his circumstances. Do you ever show that badge to anyone? Sent help. And what form of help is this? No, I have questions. <laughs> Boo. Old friend, you say? Is it? Now, anyone care to venture a guess as to what would be an old friend to a uh, Aeon's old deity? The person we're supposed to visit that he keeps bringing up, and people keep bringing up, telling us we should go visit? That's my guess. But maybe he has more friends, which would be useful. Um, so... About what time is it now? Something in the morning. <laughs> Very late. Mm -hmm. So. Do we want to I guess pile into one of the remaining rooms? Do we need to get out of this this place completely? I don't think abandoning the end in this I don't think anyone's going to do anything about it right now. The guards walked away. And certainly, uh, if they want to find us, they'll moment. find us. Actually, I might have an idea. It's a bit of a stretch, though. What's there your are, idea? There are other ends, correct? I'd imagine so. Something tells me that... Michael fellow that we had dinner with knows a bit more than he's letting on. He did seem really clueless. Or a liar. I feel like either way he is really clueless for someone who has seen this much. Or lying to us, or both. And I am kind of out of interrogation in me right now. At the um, at the very least, no one lives that long without having some sort of power. Oh, true. Uh, um. I mean, how many people do you know? How many elves do you know that live to be? She said what? She had seen five cycles? So 1,500 years? Right, so here's what I think we need to do, is find somewhere safe to sleep. Or somewhere well, relatively safe. I don't think anywhere is safe anymore. Um, and I don't especially care right now, but... I'd, I'd rather the company of those who are at least friendly to us, for the most part. I didn't detect any ill will of those two. Right, right. I guess I don't... And I suggest we probably leave a bit of a uh, collateral fee for the end keep here for uh, I... the damage we did. Right now, honestly, I don't think I trust anyone except for you. And I'm kind of gesturing to everybody. 
and Viren, you know, uh, wherever he's at. And I, I don't think right now I want to bring a stranger into this until we can regroup. Well, are we staying here for the rest of the night, or are we finding another inn? I, th I, th I think we should be okay here. Well, we have a bit of time because if they that collector mentioned that if he doesn't return within three days, they'll send out two more. So we've got a window of time to come up with some sort of plan. Not much, but just a bit. So for the time being, we're safe as long as we're cautious. You really believe that? Truthfully, no. No. Um, but I get it. It's it's nice to pretend. Um, yeah, I say we pile into... What, Houlihan's room's got two beds? I'd still suggest having someone on guard right yep. we can take turns guarding i'm, I'm not sleeping at all i'm, I'm not sleeping that me i'm did you guys hang on, did you guys send a message to viren no we haven't yet so uh, let's send me viren a message um my slate would be back in the room I was probably everyone's slates are back in the room. Yeah, mine would definitely be up in the room as well. Oh, let's go to Hulhan's room. <laughs> Get a slate out. Yeah. What do you want me to write? Thank you. Just um, casually walks into the smoke. <laughs> there we go. Um, you, what do we want him to write? Um, what? <clears throat> an assassin? <laughs> More coming? Let him know that... We don't have a week? We don't have a week. I think all of the maybe maybe leave the assassin part in there too because that's pretty important. Write out a message. I'll do it. <laughs> <coughs> Gonna probably respond for him since he fell asleep. Oh rip. But I do agree with you, Aurora. I think we'll have to find our own leads alongside Viren. There you go. There's that stone. A slight message works for me. Why don't we have a week anymore? Um, the assassin told us before we killed him. We have. <laughs> We have less than a week before they send out more. Yeah.
we'll relay that to the group. Both, I mean, just there now. Oh, so that's good timing. Oh. Oh. oh, he exists. Time again. Uh, yes. If you messages. yourself for in little mouse oh uh. he'll be back well uh what's I assume Aaron is still in Dura's arms Yeah, how's she looking? Traumatized. Alright. Um. Those death mutes. The Helen Keller type. Uh -huh. Heard what I said, right? Aaron recognizes your badge. She will hastily write down on her notepad. Yes, we're playing the pronoun game. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> You're still muted, Varen. Varen. She shakes her head. Do we see these messages or?
I think she showed us who he looks like. And I'm wondering if we're better asking her questions in the morning. I agree. I think she's already it's had enough night. for the night. And she showed Talia and I in a memory. Yeah. It was, I think, at breakfast? Yeah. It's been a day. It has been a day. And we spent most of it just reading books. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. My dumbass trying to learn a new language. All over. All right. Well. Well, shall we? Uh, I'm, yeah, I just pile wanna, in the room and uh, let's say I'm gonna, on tonight. I want to pile in the room and then I'm gonna like, I wanna like address Aaron, uh, for her to like come over here for a moment. And kind of like just, uh uh like pat like the f uh pat to like sit next to me and then i've got uh i'm gonna give her a different book something to like get her mind off of it i'm gonna end on this okay. oh does she at least come sit, or what she do? Oh shit, but she is visibly shaken. I'll like, take my arm. Put it around hallway? her shoulder. Huh? What? Are you in the Hi, hallway? Aurora. No, 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 no. We're in the room. We're all piled up in the room. Okay. I'll just put my arm around her and just let her lean on and then call it a night. Talia has had enough. She's been attacked by multiple kunai. Fucking Naruto ass. Only ever found in that specific anime. And nowhere <laughs> else in real life. I'm just bullying you. Yes, I know that <laughs> um, kunai are actual weapons and I know how to use them. But anyway. They are... Impractical, honestly. Continue next week. <clears throat> yeah. Um. You're gonna get your stuff before you leave town. Level six. Oh yeah. I fall in line. <laughs> yeah, don't break your fucking tabletop again. Talia's had enough. <clears throat> Alright. Good night everybody. Night. <laughs>